what, 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 what? This better be about pizza. What, 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 what? This better be about pizza. What, 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 what? This better be about pizza.
Hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, so. Hello. Mo. Thank you for that, Al. <laughs> Fondelio, Gage, Adam. Thank you for being here so early, everyone. Happy, thank you for the lurk. Now you start stream soon. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Let me turn this down a bit. How is everyone? Hi. Here. Uh, what do I need to start? That. Cool. I'll hide it during the game though, but I'm giving away some game keys tonight. Uh, so if you, I'm going to give one every hour. I've got four of them. So one every hour. If you want to win a game key, exclamation mark, join. Um, let's start with some stream raiders. Let's get that started. Where were we last time? Where do we want to go? We want to go down here, I think. Yeah. That was the plan. Let's go here. Jack's in, Colt's in. It did work. You can't see it on the screen, but you're in. You're in. <laughs> Oh, we gotta start in the middle. Lame. Uh, maybe range. Our range would be good. With an archer. There we go. I've gotta place three healers. Gross. Uh, whoops. I'll put in this battle plan in case you need that for a quest. And there we go. Half an hour, you want to join the battle. Let me close that. I think for today I will, I know some of you like it, but I will hide that timer just so we're not blocking anything in the game. Cause this is sponsored by Versus Evil tonight. We are giving away some game keys and I am playing it for the first time. I'm pretty excited about it. It looks pretty cool. Um, so let me start that up. Here we go. <laughs> uh, let me make sure everything. There are in as place. many worlds as there are stars in the sky. In each there is a Camelot. In each there is a Grail. But I am only one man. The Cataclysm is old, older than any of us. It has no mind. But its hunger is infinite, and its abominations yeah, so have been Merlin. gnawing at the veil since the beginning of time. Some of my kind would say it cannot be stopped until it has consumed the last sun of the last world. But oh. I have hope. That is my burden. It's very different to what I normally play on stream I gathered too, so my powers. I'm looking forward to that. I reached out across infinity and created the one combat you for all call the fans out there. King Arthur. A champion to defend each world. At great cost, I devised an instrument that could heal the wounds in reality. Oh. To you, it is known as the Grail. Heal. But Morgana lost faith in our cause. Bloody Morgana. She trapped me, trapped me, and while I slept, the years passed, the worlds changed, and Arthur, Arthur failed. Arthur! And world after world, lesser men took his place, men unprepared for the coming of the Cataclysm. Bears eat beats. Now Georgia. I am Bears awake, but beats. I am diminished. No notifications. My six p.m. My memory is shattered. <laughs> I can only reach out to you in dreams and whisper. Go really? To oh, I'm sorry, you guys to get notifications. The Grail. It's weird sometimes. It Discord should have gone off though. Believe in me, and your world may be saved. I Those have seen towns. the beginning, and I have seen the end. But I will not yield. My name is Merlin. Merlin! Digimon? Oh, there you go. 
maybe it hasn't sent them all out yet. So what happens when you become a big streamer, they got to send so many notifications out, you know? <laughs> uh, all right. We're ready. Let me just get rid of this because it's blocking half my chat. There we go. I'm going to turn up my fan a bit because it is hot here today. It is hot. Um, if you can hear my fan, just let me know and I'll turn it down. I don't want it to be like affecting you guys too much. You have the aircon on? Oh, nice. <laughs> I wish I had aircon in this room. I've only got a fan. Um, I might have to like start putting aircon on in the main area during the day if I know it's going to be hot. Um, but we'll see. Lucy, hello. I know it's hot. I'm going to grab you. But not for too long. I know it's hot. Hello. Hello. Dinky, hello. How are you? Leia, thank you for the epic paladin. Why are you actually not trying to run? What's going on? <laughs> she must be like, ooh, the fan's on high. I'm coming in here. Georgia, thank you for the epic artillery. Ah, oh, kitty. Oh, See, oh normally if she wants to go. One one with another wrestler, you got a 50 50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak. <laughs> Body's not a fan. Not normal. Body's so you not got a fan. 25% at best at beating me. There, there they go again. Don't, <laughs> Don't push them, Potty. Don't push them. All right, let's go. New game. Story. A narrative experience. Yeah, increased hero health. Heroes heal one health when traveling with supplies. Reduced enemy attributes. Max mana is increased to seven. Normal. The default rule set. Heroes have standard attributes. Enemies have standard attributes. Okay. And this is what they've just brought in. This is part of the new update. Because apparently there was a lot of players out there that are like, you know, normal, normal's not hard enough. So they brought in hard. Robust challenge. Increased enemy attributes. Plus 50% supplies, but travel costs one supply per character. Corruption encounters featured dire enemies. Ah... Uh, and when, when I saw the announcement, they were like, you sick bastards. Why would you want a hard mode? So I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. Uh, I think, like, it's my first playthrough. And I don't really play these sort of games, like turn-based combat, even though I'm intrigued by them. So let's just go story. If I start to, like, if I'm just smashing it, then we can go up to normal. But we're here for an experience. Ooh, Merlin's core. Unlock powerful guardian spells. My core, it has become so weak. But a single essence remaining, I must choose carefully which of my powers to restore. What we got? Ah, oh, here? Oh, oh! Hold in the gang. <laughs> uh, Capsa, hello, how are ya? Do I have an exclamation mark? What? I go, I don't even know. Did anything pop up? Uh, translocation. Teleport to target position. Phase. Oh, grant seven stacks of evading to all allies. Expires losing all stacks on turn start. A little sparkle for you. A hey, hello. Sparkle for you. A How are you? For me. <laughs> Restoration. Hmm. Restore five. I like healing. I'm going to heal. Let's heal. Game. This game is the hand of Merlin. Uh, if you do exclamation mark giveaway, I'll show you that we're giving away some keys, but it will have a, a link if you want to see some more info uh, about the game as well. Now unlock something else. Oh, no. I don't have any. I don't have any essence. Okay. We'll get more, we'll get more. <laughs> That's your next stream, Cordelio. 
crazy busy week. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming here after a crazy busy week. Alright, select three heroes for your party. You can only reach out to a handful of heroes now. I will need to expand my influence. This guy looks alright. Max health, max armor. Lash and bash. Slash and bash. You're in, buddy. You're in. How do I select you? Bam. Next. Merwin. Merwin. Shoot. And Archer's Vigil. Okay, I like that too. So, alright. You're in. <laughs> you're in. You can, you can stand back and shoot everyone. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're cool. Thank you for the host, T. Morgan. What does Morgan do? Stinge. And I'm going to try and say this word. Hephaestion. Hephaestion salt. I think I nailed that. Restore armor points to an ally. Who else we got? Oh, they're all hidden. Okay, I get it. So I only had to choose these three. Add hero. Add hero. Add hero. All right. Go back. Archer hype. Archer hype. So Bruno is the warrior, a man of great passion and deep melancholy. Sir Bruno, he's a knight, is driven by the death of his father, whose armor he wears. Ooh, story. He once wished to become a knight of the round table, but abandoned that dream when Arthur died. Oh, damn. Merwin is a ranger. Archer hype, ranger hype. The granddaughter of King Caradoc. The royal blood has allowed her to live a life usually reserved for men. She's young and aloof and cares little about breaking the law, but in her heart, she wants to do good in her own way. I like her. Morgan, the mystic. Morgan Tud was once Arthur's chief physician, serving him at Camelot and on his many campaigns to unite Albion. Albion? Thanks for the lurk, Mo. He knows much of the way of the ancient druids and is stronger than he appears, but he is weighed down by his grief at having failed to heal Arthur after the Battle of Camlan. Oh, you failed to heal Arthur, Morgan. Interesting. Has that thing for the lurk? It does, doesn't it? So I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, let's do it. Start. There's a lot of stuff on that right hand side. <laughs> All right, let's just take it one little step at a time, you know. Purple. Ah, oh, Jack. Oh, no. For many nights now, the spirit of Merlin has haunted your dreams. It speaks to you of a darkness from beyond this world, a darkness that will tear apart everything you know and love. That is why Merlin has reached out his hand, the hand of Merlin, and gathered those who are ready to stand against the cataclysm. Hear the voice of Merlin. This is your task. Merlin's voice whispers, oh, whispers. This is your task. You must seek Camelot, where the Grail awaits. Take it, then make your way across Albion to Corbinic. If the dangers of the Marsa Hispanica, journey through Al and Dallas and cross the wide sea until you reach Jerusalem. There your world will be saved or ended. All right, I accept. <laughs> I accept your quest, Merlin. For many days of travel, you have arrived at Camelot. Before you lies the heart of Albion, King Arthur's dream made manifest. Here, you will find the Grail and begin your quest. <laughs> Camelot is long past the height of its glory. King Galahad's long war against the Moors has been costly, in lives as well as gold. There is an air of rust and decay about the place. Even the tapestries hang crooked. All right, let's request an audience with the king. Galahad has grown old and weak. The weight of kingship rests heavy on his shoulders and he is filled with regrets. 
Take the grail, he says bitterly. It is of as little value to me as it was to Arthur at Camlan. I thought its discovery portended the healing of the world, that I had been chosen as an instrument of divine will to bring the true faith to the heathens. But what have I accomplished? Nothing but bloodshed. It was all vanity in the end, and the grail is but one of Merlin's trinkets. He holds the grail out towards you. See? It even changes its appearance according to who bears it. Merlin loves his little trickeries and glamours. Tell me, what is the greatest virtue of all? Ah, okay. Piety? And restoring at least one point of health or armor reduce all cooldowns by minus one. Does not decay. Valor. Deal an extra two points of damage when targeting an enemy with more health and armor than you. An extra one damage if they have more power. Right. I'm going to go with the one that restores at least one point of health or armor. It does not decay. I like does not decay. And I feel like I'm going to try and be stronger than all the other enemies anyway. So, piety it is. The king laughs bitterly. <laughs> then you will not witness its little trick. We are fools cut from the same cloth and your grail will be as mine. But no matter, take it and leave. Let's leave. As the doors of the throne room close behind you, a young lady of the court pulls you aside. The king has fallen into despair, she whispers. He sees the darkness ahead, but the burden of his endless war against the Morse is too heavy. But if Camelot does not act, who will? Therefore, let me use what little power I have to aid you. Do you require additional supplies? Or perhaps the services of Galahad's blacksmiths? Ask for supplies or go to the blacksmith. Ooh. Oh, hello. Can I have my mouse back, please? You can lay there, but you can't. That's my mouse. All right. Let's ask for supplies. That, that looks like some food. I like food. So be it, the lady says. I hope the king will forgive me for helping you. He's quick to anger nowadays, but I believe that in his soul, he still holds a remnant of the old faith. Now the burden he failed to bear is yours. Good luck, and God be with you. All right, we're ready. All right, welcome to the hand of Merlin. These hints will help you understand the game's systems. To see a, a specific hint, select the question mark button on the top right. Ah, oh, yep, okay. For starters, open your journal to view your warband. The journal. Journal. Oh, oh Lucy, no, come on. Come on, you know better than that. Let's go, over there. The hand symbol shows your current location. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Move the camera with WASD, select a node to move to a new encounter. Your objective is to reach Corbeni, being on the right side. That's your first step towards reaching Jerusalem. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. so we're here. Where? <laughs> How far do we have to go? All right. Well, that's our next destination. Regular node. Let's go. A game of thimblering. A man with an extravagantly feathered hat sits by the roadside. As you walk towards him, he looks around, checking for guards. King Galahad has outlawed all gambling. Welcome, strangers. Are you interested in a little entertainment? A game, perhaps? If you are, you need but follow me. Let's follow him. Is it a trap? <laughs> the man leads you to a hidden spot just off the road. Just as he is approaching a small table with three silver cups upon it, all guards followed by a priest burst out of the bushes. Finally, we have you, scoundrel, the priest cries. The man's eyes bulge and the second lady is off, fast as a hare. The priest and the guards give chase. Let's take his cups. And what's that symbol mean though? Let's take his cups. <laughs> you got the money. Hanchan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you caught it too, well done. Well done. 
These cups are valuable and the man is not likely to return for them. The priest would most likely melt them down or keep them for himself. Let them serve a better cause than that. It's the panda? Yeah, I thought it's, it's like a fighting panda, isn't it? Ebbs! Hello, Ebbs, how are you? It said it was. Where's, where do I have to go? Heroic node. Shit. Where am I going? Wow, Stonehenge. You see that? That's Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Ah, okay, so I've got to go, I've got to go over here, all the way down here. So I could go either way. Let's go down. I want to go to Stonehenge. The fields in this region seem dry, almost scorched, although the weather is mild and a gentle fog rises from the earth. Perhaps this is some sinister effect of the cataclysm. Even Merlin's spirit seems to be unsure. Continue. Passing by a modest farmstead, you hear the cries of a damsel? Or is that just like a fancy way of saying damsel? The cries of a damsel. Stay away from me, you fiends! She seems to be badly frightened by whatever is happening. Approach. I'm just gonna, it is damsel, isn't it? It's just got an O and I've never seen spelt like that before. The damsel is surrounded by ill looking men who are threatening her in a most unseemly fashion. If you cannot pay in corn, one of them is saying, you will pay in meat. For a moment, you had thought they were bandits, but it's worse. They're tax collectors. Step in and stop them. Surround them, risking her life. 75% chance of not killing her, is it? Command the men to stop. Well, I don't want to kill her. So let's, we'll command the men to stop. Because uh, we've got our, our night friend with us. If you touch a single hair upon that woman's body, Bruno growls at their leader, I will split you right down the middle. I swear to you, I will cut you in half, even if it is the last thing I do upon this earth. Ailing, the ruffian lets the damsel go. She runs to safety, but the other men draw their weapons. Let's stand our ground. Georgia, thank you for that epic flying rogue. Oh, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> teach me, teach me how to play. Welcome to your first skirmish. To move the camera, yep. Or drag the mouse cursor to the edges of the screen. Okay, yep, cool. To select a character, click on their portrait or press tab to cycle between them. And then click on any tile to move. Oh yeah, okay, so I wanna go here and I'm gonna attack this little ruffian. All right, let's go. Nice. You just use the skill. You can check your skills in the action bar. Skills like run cost action points to be used, represented by the yellow diamonds. Okay. Anytime you can click the end turn button to allow your enemy to act. Can I attack? Because I still got a diamond, so I used one to run. And now I can slash. Deal five damage to an enemy in melee range. Match. Deal five damage and two knockback to non-large units. If blocked, deal two damage to the target. Disrupts prepared actions. He wouldn't have a prepared action, so let's slash. Slash. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Alright, so now... I can shoot. Let's shoot. Can I shoot that far? I can. Oh. Range attacks can be blocked by cover. When you hover over a tile, attacks coming from beyond the red line are less likely to hit. The hit chance from Pacific tile. Note the yellow percentile on the target unit. Oh, okay. What's 100%? Now you can't say nutrition without nut, am I right? I mean, who's to say it's pronounced nutrition anyway? My mix What's is going on? Delicious nuts. What's it sound like? Blend it for your Did you turn the fan up? Right. Should I turn the fan down? I just changed a word in the English. Flanders, nutrition starts with nut. Turn the fan down, see if that helps. Sounds okay. All right, turn it back up for some hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, cool. Let's shoot this person. It is, it is a different mic, yeah. Yeah, does it still sound like that? I thought I fixed it. I mean, I'm not in a large room. It's a tiny room. Put up some stuff on the walls though. Might need more. <laughs> Got him. What's Archer's Vigil? Ready in reaction, taking a shot against an enemy that moves within your line of sight until the next turn, dealing four damage. Okay, we may as well. Cool. Archer's Vigil. Uh, what's this? Deal four damage to an enemy. Restore six armor points. Nice. Thanks, mutant. Yeah, I don't know. I I've been try I've been trying to fix it, but this is like as good as I can get it for now. I might have to get some more. Like I've got like foam on the walls. I might need more. How do I end my turn? Where's end turn? Prophecy. What's prophecy? No. I don't need to heal yet. Is that end? Ah, uh, end turn. Yes. All right, let's see what they're going to do. Yeah, that's a good idea too, Drinker. I've got... I've got like the cat beds there. <laughs> yeah, take that. That guy's nearly dead. Oh, they're ganging up on uh, poor Bruno. All right, here we go. The unit header presents a, at a glance information about a unit. So yeah, looter, ruffian, brawler. All units possess health and armor points. Some skills deal specific damage to one of the two. Well, let's take care of this guy. Actually, yeah, that guy. Oh, now get him, bash him. <laughs> Now, can I, can I, can I shoot from there? No, I'm gonna have to move into range. Nice, and then shoot. Got him. Same with this guy, he's gonna have to move into range. Get him. <laughs> Get in the hang of it. Get in the hang of it. Mom, how are you? Good to see you. Where do you think you're going, buddy? <laughs> now, let's move up there. Oh, I get it. So that cost me two. Can I hit him from here? 40% chance. I'll take those odds. <laughs> Victory! Got some currency. The damsel comes to you, tears in her eyes. The fields are dying, she says. The harvest is barely enough for us to eat, but the lord of this land demands his tax. What are we to do? My father went to Camelot to plead with the king, and the moment he was gone, these men appeared. I shuddered to think what would have happened without your help. Soon peasants from the surrounding farms appear. Hearing the damsel's tale, they prepare a reward for you. Sweet. Got a reward. Okay, hero level up available. Lucy, stop. Oh, God, it's too hot for this. <laughs> Phoenix, hello, how are you? Aren't you hot? My goodness. Joel, hello, how are ya? Oh, come on in. 
You have gained resources, seen on the top of the screen. Yep. When you accumulate 50 renown like you did, you can rank up your units in the Warband page. Hover over the other resources to understand their use. You like that? There you go. Alright, I'm gonna need this hand back at least. Oh. <laughs> oh. There you go. Down you go. Yeah, I'm doing well. It's a bit hot here today. It's one of the hotter days we've had in a while. But I'm getting there. Playing the hand of Merlin for the first time, which is uh it's pretty fun. So we're here, we gotta go this way. We're at the market now. You come across a small trading post. Merchants and farmers sit at their simple stands, listening as a, men a mendicant. Praises the virtues of King Galahad the Pure. Truly he is the greatest defender of the faith. He has never faltered, never surrendered. Countless are the acts of bravery and sacrifice that have come to pass this in his reign. Long may he live. Uh, we don't need supplies. I could actually sell supplies if I wanted to. Let's sell some supplies. An excellent choice, my lords, the trader says. Let's continue. Oh, cool. We'll come back to that because that's the battle. I heard the battle. I heard it. Uh, can I easily switch over? Hopefully I can easily switch over with this game. Did that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Stronghold, because we're going to be here for a little bit. Let's do it. What are we catching? A Dreadnought. Yeah, Phoenix, I'm, um, I'm giving away some game keys tonight. So if you're interested in the game, do exclamation mark join. I'll be giving away a key every hour. So not after this battle, but the next battle, I'll be giving away the first one. When are we going to move? <laughs> Let us move. Sorry, I'm just writing a message. Very rude of me, I know. Oh, red. And then... Oh, it's, it's on cooldown. Rude, but you can see it a bit. You can see it a bit further above. It already did it for me automatically. But there, there's a link for uh, if you want to learn more about the game. Best color. <laughs> Three winners: body layer and mo. Orange is the best color. Oh, color wars. I think I have an orange option, don't I? Maybe. I gotta put in healers, so I'm gonna put in the healer. I believe in you guys to do the damage. Where is my healer? Uh, <laughs> ah, there it is. Looks weird. Caldelia loves blue as well. Yes, blue hype. Uh, there's that if you need a uh, request. 200 changes it. <laughs> Got half an hour if you want to join us. Uh, I was actually thinking, let me change over quickly. I'm going to be real big on your screen for a second. There I am. It's still daylight outside. Daylight savings and all that. New pop. New pop of the week. Now, we, we've had a bit of a theme uh, the last few weeks, but we're breaking the theme this week. Because I got something different. Um, are you ready? It's Sylvester and Tweety. Any Looney Tunes fans in chat? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let me get him out. 
<laughs> I saw it and I was like, yes. I need it. No, well, there will be more, just not, not this week. I'm breaking it up a little. Two for one. That is right. And yeah, because there's Sylvester. Looks pretty cool. But you can't have Sylvester without little Tweety. Look how small it is. <laughs> I feel like a giant. <laughs> Which ones do I collect? I've got, I've got a few pops. Got some there. Some there. I'll be, I get, I get a new one every Friday. Rev. Thank you. Let me, let me show you one more time. Sylvester. I don't know. I don't know if, uh, mum's still here, but mum loves Sylvester and Tweety. I'll have to show her later. But yeah. Did I just dab? No, I don't think I did. <laughs> I was pointing at my pops. Did I inadvertently dab? Oh, can I get this back in? Do you love them? They're so cool. They're, while I'm in this scene, you can see like them a bit clearer behind me. Yeah, there's a new pop for the week. I do a new one every Friday. I'll I'll show it throughout the night, just in case people miss. But let's uh let's get back to it. I can minimize that. Back to the game. What are we doing? There we go. A purposeful dab so we can dis distinguish between that and the accidental dab. There you go. There you go. That's for you, Cole. It's getting all of the crew today. Stopping in all my fave streams. Thank you, Rev. Not the dab. Don't blame me. <laughs> Thank you for the sparkles. Oh, Leia. Hey, no worries. Love your drawings. Keep them coming. Damn it on them. Oh, when's your next stream, Cole? <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. 2018? Am I right? <laughs> oh, there's different types of nodes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in the legend, they offer different rewards, heroics, new equipment, and hero. New heroes. Big bad dabby. Oh yeah, we gotta look around for I don't know if at what the landscapes are like in this, but I'll have a look. Arcanes, alright. Relic spanner and possibly new cores, cities, commerce, and healing. Okay. So where are we going? What's this? Regular. Regular and regular. Okay. <laughs> They're all regular. Why would you tell me that? That looks... So this one has a three. Corruption. Corruption indicators. Dabby with three Bs. <laughs> I like it. Rebrand? Is that a rebrand? Let's go here. Let's, let's check it out. In the ruins. Rumor has it that the old ruins in the forest are haunted. Some say that at night, Arthur's beloved dog, Gaval, is heard howling here, still hunting the spirit of Quirk Twith. I'm gonna go with that. Hopefully I don't have to say it again. It's a very Happy Cats game. Yeah, well, if you wanna win a game key, Happy! Exclamation mark, join. Let's enter the ruins. As you stand amongst the crumbling remains of the past, you wonder whether all the kingdoms are fated to end like this. Some tumbled rocks, an old engraving, and not even a name to remember who built this place or who died defending it. Not yet. Actually, you might not be able to see if you won. I'll be giving the first key away while you're streaming. So I'll let you know. You did win, congrats. <laughs> Uh, your thoughts are interrupted by a rustling in the bushes. A threat? Or is that just the wind? Let's keep watch. Could just be the wind. <laughs> Thanks, Georgia. 
Oh, bloody Bruce. Get out of here, Bruce. Get out of here. But it's okay, Abby. Thank you for watching. Oh, what's happening? Shuffle? All right, so we... Two success, one failure. Shuffle. Oh, come on. I got two out of three. I can't fail. I can't. Middle. Right in the middle. Yes! Stand your ground. Oh, it's on. Uh, okay, there's a person there, person there. Alright. And a person there. Well, let's go here. <laughs> um, I don't want to use more than one, so that's as far as I can go for one action. So let's go there. Can I shoot from here? 40% still. Bitch up. Get him. Miss! Damn it. I hope not, Cole. I hope not. That's 40% as well, so I'm gonna I gotta get right out here, I reckon. Get there. 40% still, what's blocking it? Stitch up. Alright, let's just do it. Damn it! <laughs> oh no. Like it's on story mode. Well you stay away from her. How dare you? Where you going? Oh, look at this cheeky. Damn it. Twilly! Hello! Can't believe it's been four months. Four months you've been subbed. Thank you so much, Twilly. Here we go. Thank you for the host. <laughs> oh, thank you for the great work. Thank you, Twilly. How are you? Hey Blakey, can't be live been four months. Four months I've been sub to you. Wow, I've been so long lol. Keep up great work, Blakey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Four months. Crazy. Uh, to the left of the action bar, there are some options to change how some things are rendered. Hover over to explore. You can't see that I'm blocking it, but I don't think it's not. It's nothing really. It's just menu stuff. Okay. Let's get this guy. 50% to move there? Really? Why? Well, I did it. <laughs> and slash. Got him. Uh, I want to move here. And I want to shoot this guy. What a shot. <laughs> this woke up very sleepy. Are you getting ready for work? Thank you for coming while you're getting ready for work. It's good to see you. Let's get this guy. Gotcha. And then run. Run away. <laughs> oh. Aiding plus five. Taking me to the school. Thank you for the work, man. Oh no, they're picking on her. They're picking on her. All right, let's just take out this guy. <laughs> now, how far can I move that far? Okay. You get behind him. Yeah, can I shoot through him? I can. Nice. <laughs> Let's pretend I didn't shoot through him. I shot around him. Get hungry again breakfast soon? Yes, get some breakfast. Okay, let's run here. And let's get this guy. 50%? Why? He's right there. Rude. Very rude. Uh-oh. Leave Morgan alone! 
they keep running away from me. Let's get it. Splash. <laughs> Miss? Why? Oh, because they've been putting their evading up. That's why. Oh, that sucks. Uh, oh, I'm too close to shoot. Okay. Too close to shoot. I need to back off a bit. Now I can shoot. Please hit. Please hit. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was very satisfying. Um, let's back off this way. This is going to be hard to hit. 40%. Okay. Go. Got him. Oi. Go protect your mate. And shoot. Uh, Archer's Vigil. That move, I think, just means if he moves in my vision, I shoot him. And get it. 400%. Hey, mode only. You got it, Twilly. Georgia, do you know how to turn that on? I can. I can do it, though. Victory! Well done. I can do it. No, you're all good. You're all good. I've done it. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy, Twilly. Enjoy. Let's go click back in. It goes black for a second. There we go. Uh, in the ruins, the bandits lie dead. A waste of life, but you had no choice. They'll soon be as forgotten as whoever built this place. Natty, hello. Examine the engraving. It would appear that one Lucius Otronus Brocus, Lucius Otronius Brocus, buried a stash of gold here. It's a sacrifice to the forgotten god of this place in thankfulness for having been cured of an ailment of the teeth. To take the gold would be sacrilege, but perhaps a sacrilege that can be justified by the greater need such an action would serve. Take the gold. The gold is easily retrieved. Before you leave, you whisper an apology to Lucius Atronius Brocus and his god. Thank you. I'm going to call you Lab. Thank you, Lab. Laughs in mod powers. <laughs> you, what's this? Oh, you got six minutes. I was going to say. Oh, level up. Level up. Okay. This is your warband page. Select a character to see the attributes on the right side. You also have access to relics like the Grail and choose who will carry it. I forgot about the Grail. Warrior. Click to level up. Ooh. Ranking up allows you to pick a new skill by clicking on an open skill slot. Skills are picked from a random pool and offer possibilities for a variety of play styles. Okay. Each character also gains some health to increase your other attributes, find a blacksmith. Ah, and acquire better equipment. Okay. Ooh. Rage. Gain two stacks of berserk. Stunning blow. Apply one stack of stun to an enemy in melee range, making him skip a turn. Lunge. Move to target location. On arrival, deal eight damage. We're gonna do that one. See you, Happy. Have a good stream. See you later. Lunge. I'm gonna do lunge. There it is. You guys, if you're not following Lord Happy Cats, Go check him out. He's streaming tonight. Um, okay, so we got lunch. Sprint. Move to target location. Gain three stacks of evading. I like that. Apply two stacks of rooted to an enemy. Ooh, I like that as well. 
Specialty arrow, deal four damage to an enemy and an extra four if the target is unarmored. Ooh. I'm gonna go with sprint because it doesn't co it doesn't cost a diamond either. So I think that's really good. Let's do that. And then Morgan. What you got, Morgan? Raise totem. Create a low cover at the center target position. Creates a shielding aura around the cover, creating two stacks of shielded to allies. Aura lasts for three turns. That's cool. Apply four stacks of blighted to an enemy. What's blighted do? When taking damage for an ability, restore four armor points to the attacker. Haze losing two stacks when performing this effect. Aeolic Elixir. Apply three stacks of quick and reduce all cooldowns by minus one. Nah, I'm gonna go to the totem. I like sort of passive things where I can just do it, leave it, and it does something. We're going with that. Cool. Let's go to the next area. Which is the heroic node, I think. I don't know how long it's been now, but do you know how to turn it off, Georgia? <laughs> some water into me. Let's go to the heroic node. Matters of justice. As you pass through the small village of Domhusli, you see a crowd gathered before the old fort built by Uther Pendragon. Heated debate has broken out. Approach. Thank you, Georgia. You are unwittingly drawn into the debate. The crowd is gathered here on account of a man, one Kuchel, who stands accused of murder. Some wish him in prison, others wish him freed, and has fallen upon the master of the fort, Sir Plenorius, to the side. Plenorius, frail in his old age, begs you for assistance. We are free! <laughs> we are free! Greet an old friend. Ah, oh, cool. So our, our uh, knight Brunor knows him. Lenorius, do you not recognize me? Brunor bellows. Is that you, Le Cot Maltel? It has been too long, old friend. I fear I am too old to just with you now, but I hope you remember my victory, though I could not repeat it. I remember it well, Brunor laughs. Lenorius commands his men to bring you food and wine. Why consider his dilemma? Food and wine? Delicious. <laughs> and now you are free. <laughs> Eldor, thank you for the epic flying rogue. All right, let's learn about this man's crimes. There was an anchorite who lived in my fort who was found slain, Sir Plenorius says. And a farmer has come forward to accuse Kuchelm of the murder, saying he killed him for a hate of Christ. A most serious accusation, but some say the farmer wishes Kuchelm imprisoned because he loves the farmer's daughter or because he is of the old faith. Ask for evidence. I'm not going to imprison a man or... Yeah, we need, we need some evidence. Hold hard evidence. There is no evidence, sighs Sir Plenorius. None at all. There's only the accusation and Kuchelm's plea of innocence. Oh, wow. What do you think? Should we imprison? Or set him free? I mean, there's no evidence. You can't imprison a man if there's no evidence. That's a stitch. Oh, it's okay, Abby. Yeah, get some rest. I'd love, I'd love to try out the new Phasmo. I haven't played it. Um, I've just been watching people play it on Twitch, and it looks really cool. He looks evil. And so is that's who they're accusing? Mine looks evil. Hmm. I feel like if we do set him free that was him, we'll have to track him down and kill him anyway. 
It's a whole different ball game, is it? Ooh. I'll have to check it out. All right, let's set him free. To merely be accused of a crime means nothing. Often it is the guilty who accuse others to hide their own guilt. There you go. Future must be considered innocent until evidence shows otherwise. So be it, intones Sir Plenorius. Guards, follow me. We must release the prisoner from the dungeon at once. Happening to the dungeon. Super spooky. Oh. It's good that this matter has been resolved, Sir Plenorius says, descending the stairs. We've had enough trouble with these brigands. It's all these wars, you see. They drive men to madness. And they are never quite well when they return. Luckily, we recently captured their leader. Now if I... When one of the guards opens the gate to the prison, you discover that the brigands have been using the commotion outside as an opportunity to free their leader. Oh shit. Thank you, Abby. The brigands draw their weapons and attack in two groups. The guards engage one group while you prepare to engage the other. Huchon bravely joins the guards. Should I die? Thank you for defending me, he shouts over the din of the battle. Thank you for the lurk. This better be about pizza. Cage, thank you for the host. All right, it's on. It is on. Oi, no, don't shoot me. Ah, you bastard. Why do they get to go first? Alright. Well, to help you understand your own skills, note how they use color to describe your effects when aiming. Red means damage. Blue is healing. Green's movement. Purple, negative status effects. Yellow, aura or ground effects. Okay. Well, we are going to slash... And bash! Slash and bash! You gonna sleep, Gage? Have a good sleep. See you soon. You're lovely. Uh, sprint. Yeah, let's let's go here. And we got some evading. I do like that. I like that. <laughs> Got him. Archer's Vigil. There we go. Totem. Raise Totem. Uh, here, I reckon. Whoa. We're shielded. Can I see him from here? I can't. Shit. Uh, I'm going to move behind. <laughs> we'll let Bruno cop everything. Oi, you're not letting some guys hiding. Aha, uh -huh. gotcha. I do like that move. What's with all the evading going on here? Alright, slash. What's my grail do again? Granted one stack piety. Let's just use it. Can I use it? Oh, I probably can't because it restores health and I have I haven't lost health yet. Oh, it says all armor. Maybe I can't use it. Damn. Alright. Prophecy. That's a passive as well. Restore five health to an ally. Well, I can't. Let's just move. Let's, let's chase this guy down. Chasing you down, buddy. Shoot. Gotcha. Georgia, thank you for the epic Templar. Uh, and let's sprint back this way. Nice. And then... Run that way. Cool. Back. Stinge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed. I missed. Where are you going? Oh no, he stunned her. Oh, 
Oh, that did a lot of damage. I like that. I like that move a lot. Um, we're going to have to move here. Get him. He's dead. He's gone. How far can I? I can't. Okay. Nah. Let's not do that. Let's move back. I can't attack because I move so far. I can only do two actions per turn, and that took me two actions to get that far. <laughs> oh, good. Well, he's only got two health left, so. I think he's a goner. Bye bye. <laughs> Victory. I don't know what that currency is. We'll have to figure that out. Ah, we got 10 of it. Renown. We got 10 renown. Your fame in this realm. <laughs> Thank you, Georgia. After the battle is over, Kuchelm approaches you. He is wounded, but not gravely so. I cannot thank you enough for your actions today, he says. There are few now who remember the ancient principles of the law, which were made to defend the innocent. Here, please take this. It is all I have, but I give it gladly. Oh, 93 gold. Thanks, mate. Oh, no, Georgia. There you go. You bought some. Ah, uh, the city? Let's go to the city. Hopefully he doesn't box me. We can get some new armor. You arrive in Carleon, the great city founded by King Belenos. Here Arthur made his stronghold before Camelot was built. After Arthur's death, King Galahad commanded the construction of a great cathedral at equally great cost. These days the city is quiet, almost melancholic. Shops and traders can be found on Legion Square to the north. Those without gold or seeking adventure might choose to explore the city's streets instead. Those in need may also find a small house of healing in one of the narrow streets. Well, we want to buy stuff, so let's go to Legion Square. Legion Square reflects the faded beauty of Rome, whose legions once built a fortress on this spot. Its foundations can still be seen, and much of its substance was carried off and used to build Camelot. Oh! There is a blacksmith here, yes, and a shop that sells trinkets, relics, and other things said to be magical. There's also a small market with more ordinary traders where you may purchase or sell supplies. Go to the blacksmith. This is the blacksmith page here. You can upgrade your hero's equipment, make them more efficient in combat. You can upgrade armor or weapon on each hero up to five times. Each blacksmith has different styles for sale with different attributes, okay. Well, let's upgrade which sword's mine? Do we have two swords? Oh, I see. Okay, so this is the arming sword plus one power, and this is plus two damage done to unarmored targets. I think nearly everyone's had armor on, so I'm just gonna go plus one power. See? And then plus 10 armor for him, because he's our tank. Proceed. Cool. All right, we'll upgrade everyone else um, after we do the battle. So, hopefully, it only takes a second to switch over. Goes all black. Goes all quiet. <laughs> um, give everyone a bit of haste. Make it a bit bigger so we can see. All right, there we go. I'm going to put on... Okay, there's all the names. There's all the names that are in the giveaway. We're going to give away a game key after this battle. Because, Georgia, I forgot. <laughs> if you need an exclamation mark, join now. If you haven't, we're going to give away a game key straight after this battle. And then I'll do a spin for Georgia. Not for Georgia, like you could possibly get the spin. <laughs> Come on, Pyramid Head!
Yay, pyramid head. <laughs> no. Victory! Three winners. Adam, Mo, Potty. Congratulations. Let me, uh... I've got the music still there. Let me put that on in the background while we do all this stuff. So... Loyalty token chest. This is a good one. For you guys chasing that battle pass. There's only four days left. This could come in handy. Oh, no. Uh, this looks like a tough one. I mean, it's for the tokens. So maybe I'll put in an Orc Slayer. Could come in handy. Georgia. Get out of my way. What are you doing with your champion tank? <laughs> he did. Have sat. The witch mage. Nice. Adam. With the tip. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. All right. We've got half an hour if you want to join in. This is for some tokens. Leia with the epic berserker. Let's just stay here and watch all the epics come in. Look at, <laughs> look at them all. Grievous. Yeah. Oh, cold. The war beast. There we go. All right. Um, let me minimize that. We won't go back to the game just yet. I'm going to give away the first game key for the night. Very exciting. Thanks to Versus Evil. Let's see who's won. Capsat Gaming? Oh, Ebs, you just missed it. You just missed it. But that's okay. I'm, going, I'm giving away another three. Let me just write your name down, Capsat. I'll send them out after the stream. Congratulations. <laughs> Little baby tank. Congratulations. I'm going to restart it. Um, so if you guys want to win a game key tonight, there's still three up for grabs. So there you go. You can go exclamation mark join from now. I'll be giving away another one in about an hour. So after every second stream raiders battle, we'll give one away. Now, as uh, per the request of Georgia, there it is. We'll be doing a spin. So do exclamation mark roll as well. If you want to spin right now, the person with the highest number gets the spin. Georgia off to a flying start with 85. Cold. We need to talk about your numbers. Moe's returned with many tales of their heroic adventures. Tell us, Mo. <laughs> anyone, can anyone beat 85? Going once. Going twice. Stole. Georgia. Here you go. Everyone that hasn't seen, we got Sylvester today. But not only just Sylvester. You got Tweety. <laughs> 250k. Georgia does predict the future. Georgia, what's next week's uh, lotto numbers? I need to know. Tell me. There you go. Congratulations. Were you near anything good? Oh, there was a million there. Side of Palm down there. Congrats. All right, let me pause this music after I hide the names. Cold and Georgia are in the giveaway. If you guys want to win a game key, exclamation mark join for the next hour. You got plenty of time. I wish I knew. All right, this is a little bit jarring, the changeover. There we go. Gotta pick the Melbourne Cup with it for Granddad. I think Granddad can pick it. Maybe. What's wrong with my chair today? Hang on. It's like, is that, it wasn't, I think that's better. It was like too upright. I feel better now. Okay. Um, okay. Let's upgrade two accuracy, one evasion, one range. I feel like I don't think range. <laughs> well, tell me as well, Georgia, tell me. Let's get some more accuracy. 
And definitely more evasion. The armor doesn't help that much for her. Nice. And then, one power, one range. We're gonna go for power. Proceed. Five armor. Thick robes. Minus two damage received if afflicted with a negative status effect. Are we ever afflicted with a negative? I haven't seen a negative status effect. It could come into play later though. I'm just gonna go for the five armor right now. Proceed. Cool, we're all upgraded. Uh, should we go to the relic shop? Let's check out the relic shop. What do we got? Caltrops. Toss caltrops to, to an area in range, dealing two damage to enemies on contact. Does not target allies. A straw doll. The bearer is granted two stacks of paragon. Paragon plus two damage dealt to abominations. Right. Grows, gaining one stack when taking health damage. Decays, losing one stack when allies take health damage. Oh, okay. Autonax Bone. On use, clear all status effects active on the user, except for aura-related ones. Oh. Uh, I mean... I guess I could give... Nah, let's not waste our money. We've only got 141 gold. I need more gold. Lee. What is the top 10 looking like? Is Tribble... I think Tribbles is still in front. And we've only got tonight and tomorrow night, really. So... Return to the main street. Yeah, look at that. Jack's in third position. Top three do get digs for crates. Let's explore. So we got a choice between the priest, the pickpocket, and the monster. All right, what are we gonna get? Hopefully not the monster. Doesn't sound great. The priest. Very good. On one of Carlian's many filthy streets, you encounter a young priest by the name of Godric. If you live in Godric's Hollow. He's handing out parcels of food to men who have returned from the war against the Moors too crippled to work. Agreed out. It is dull work, and the tired, despondent faces of those who help threaten to bury you in despair, but Godric's faith in his task carries you along. When there is no more food left, Godric sighs and offers to pay you. Nah. We good. We do it out of the goodness of our hearts, Godric. And I like your name, you're cool. Godric smiles, a brief tired smile, but a smile nonetheless. Bless you, he whispers, and then he's off. There's still much to do before nightfall. Oh, cool, we got some room now. Uh, retire for the day. You retire to the Merry Centurion Inn to gather your strength for the journey ahead. All right. Next. We're almost at Stonehenge. The sun shines and a gentle breeze blows as you travel along a pleasant country road peaceful mood is only interrupted by the sudden barking of a dog. A large shaggy dog bursts out of the bushes, chasing a butterfly which it soon loses track of. The animal does not seem aggressive and it is not afraid of you either. Instead, it simply sits down in the middle of the path with its tongue lolling, wagging its tail. Pet the dog. You approach the dog, holding out your hand carefully, lest the beast startle and bite you. The dog merely wags its tail faster and pants happily. While you're giving the animal a good long scratch behind the ears, you notice that it's wearing a collar from which a short length of frayed rope is dangling. Since the dog's shiny fur and full planks attest to a life of ease, you assume that it must have run away recently. Find his home, we have to. A league further down the road, you come upon a small farmstead. A kennel stands by the side of the gate, large enough for your new friend to have a warm place to sleep. Next to the kennel sits a small boy, desolately holding a torn piece of rope. He jumps up when he sees you and the dog approach. Oh, you found Nosewise. Come here, my boy, come. The child claps his hands and the dog, which is almost as large as the boy, bounds towards him eagerly. As the dog licks his master's face, tail wagging as fast as never before, a man emerges from the house. 
My lords, I see you found Edward's dog. I'm very glad you did. The boy has been pining for that animal all day. He tussles the boy's hair. Ed here has been training those wise to hunt fowl. And yesterday the dumb beast ripped loose as a flock of geese was passing overhead. <laughs> the man laughs. Fancies himself a caval in pursuit of Twitch to Trick Trith. What a name. But he is a good dog, so I suppose I'd better offer you a reward to repay your kindness. Ah, uh, no, we're just helping out the dog. Fine. Here's Renown. You certain, my lords? I know our farmstead seems humble, but I would gladly have given you coin or supplies. You have made my boy very happy, and those wise has been useful with the sheep. They are strangely skittish lately, and the presence of the dog seems to calm them. He shakes his head. I cannot force you to take a reward, and will tell all passing folk of your heroism. For his kindness to animals and children, not the mark of a hero. I wish you a safe journey, wherever you might be going. All right, we've made it. Stonehenge. Long before you reach, but long before you reach the circle of stones itself, you can feel Stonehenge on the horizon. It's overwhelming power bleeding through Merlin's mind into your own. Next to the Grail, this is perhaps the greatest of Merlin's instruments. Oh, approach Stonehenge. Halt! A rough voice calls out from the mist. No pagans and devil worshippers are allowed here. Be gone! Uh, it's a bad to know who is speaking. Yeah, who's speaking? King Galahad has ordered an end to devil worship, the voice says, and he's hired us to make sure you heathens don't disobey his will. Mercenaries, then. Uh, vow that we can attack them. Vow that we are not devil worshippers or bribe them. I'm not going to bribe them. I need my gold. We need to upgrade stuff. I feel like if we attack them, we would win easily. Well, let's just see where the dialogue goes. Vow that we're not devil worshippers. Excellent, the voice says. Then you have no business with these stones and are free to leave. <laughs> let's try threatening them. We got 50% chance to threaten them. Shuffle. Oh, I'm going to go right. Yes. Oh, no, you missed it. Oh, no. Will you really risk your lives to defend these stones? Bruna says, drawing his weapon. They are but ins insensate stones. <laughs> Thank you, Georgia. <laughs> After all, and you are living beings capable of experiencing pain, a great deal of pain. The men in the mist take his point and decide to retire to the nearest inn. <laughs> I I won though. I won though, Mo. Is it truly gambling if you win? I think it's just winning. Proceed to Stonehenge. With the black guards gone, Stonehenge is quiet. Great stones standing like silent sentinels in the early morning mist. But every now and then you catch a glimpse of the power emanating from within them. It is hypnotic, swirling around you in dizzying spirals. <laughs> yeah, but that's easy money. The turnips. Easy money. You sense an unusual hesitance. Hes hesitance? In Merlin. As if he can no longer quite remember how Stonehenge functions or how to take control of it. Perhaps the memory was lost when he was in prison. It's still possible to draw on the power of Stonehenge, but to do so would be risky. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha, Georgia. Georgia got me. Okay, forge a new connection. Draw on the power of Stonehenge. Well, that's 50%. Like, 50% is better than 25%. So let's go with the 50%. Holy shit. Planar eruption. That does not sound good. Mana cascade. Planar disjunction. Mana pulse. All right, throw some numbers at me, chat. One, two, three, or four. Yeah, need help. One, two, three, four. 
We got a 50 50 shot at not destroying the world. Three, three, two. Three's winning. I think we might have to go with three. I do like choosing the middle ones. So I think we're going to go with three. Fingers crossed. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh, my God. Both middle ones were shit. With Morgan as a conduit, Merlin's spirit reaches out and touches the stream of energy that flows through all the many stone hinges in infinity. But the flow is suddenly interrupted, and Morgan steps back from the stone with a cry of pain. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it wasn't the destruction of the world, thank goodness. It says Morgan copped a bit of pain and he's minus one health. But we didn't get the power. We, we wanted the power. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, what, what's this? We're almost there, which is good. Let's go to... We haven't been to a corrupted node, I don't think. So let's go to a corrupted one. See how that goes. Village of the Dead. From a distance, the village you are now passing through seemed peaceful. And even now, the telltale signs of the cataclysm are missing. There is no stench, no strange growths, but it is clear that abominations of the cataclysm pass through here, but not a single man, woman, or child is left alive. Search the ruins, oh god, the dead, the tip barn, the dead, town hall. Okay. We'll go, I'll go with you this time, Georgia, all right? You said two, let's go two. Town hall. Not bad, not bad. In the town hall, where the villagers fought their last stand, you discover an item that may prove useful in your quest. Score! Gain iron boots. Various granted one stack of grounded and one stack of iron feet. Cannot stuff a knockback, take no damage from ground effects. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, really muted. What is it? Do tell. Oh, post it. Yeah, thank you. Post it in Discord. I'll check it out. Do we just get some sweet boots? Now I'll put the boots on. Gear. Or do I? Oh, oh, okay. No, that's fine. Yeah, leave the boots on her. You're not suffering knockback. Oh, actually, no, no. Put the boots and she can have the grail. Or he, Morgan can have the grail. The grail's better with Morgan. And then the boots are better with Brunor. Okay, cool. Moon always has the best games. He does. The Bloodthirsty Brigand. As you are crossing a narrow passage in the high hills, with a sheer drop to either side of you, brigands suddenly block your path. You turn to retreat, but they are behind you as well. Clearly, you have walked into a trap. Surrender everything you own, and we may let you live. Their leader says with a leering, bloodthirsty grin. Attempt to bargain? No, intimidate them. Let's intimidate them. Bruno laughs as he draws his weapon. Come then, you fools. Let me reward you for your insolence, he says. This is not what the brigands expected. They are clearly frightened of Bruno, but they attack you nonetheless. All right, let's stand their ground. Ooh, blue. Lucy, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Aw. Lucy. What's going on? What's going on? Let's go back a bit so everyone can see you. There you are. She is. Percy isn't. Percy never is, but that's fine. But you are, aren't you? Percy gets needy like later like when I'm about to go to bed he's like what you go to bed no you can't go to sleep what are you doing doesn't he do you like Sylvester I actually know you might like Tweety Kitty. <laughs> no you don't like Tweety okay all right you want to help me 
Help me stand our ground? No? Oh. Biting my hand. Alright, down you get. It's too warm. You're very warm. Let's assess the battlefield. Thank you for the work, Twilly. Don't work too hard. Uh, it's gonna cost me two action points just to get into... Can I lunge and attack, I wonder? I think I can. No, I can't. Not from that. I'm gonna have to... Let's just run up there. We'll get in position. See you, Twilly. Thanks, mutant. All right, let's get in position. Nice. Um, I might put you over there, mate. You stay at the back. Oh no, oh, I shot him. Grim Dawn? Has Ev's been playing Grim Dawn? Uh oh. Uh oh. They're gearing up. Go. Ooh. Yeah, cop that. <laughs> Let's just take him out. Gotta take one out at least. And Archer's Vigil. Nice. Um, move back. Oh, what a jerk. Kill him. You loved it, but you went back to your other friend? Who's your other friend? Shut ya. And slash. Extra damage from behind. Nice. He still isn't playing New World. His Tisk. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I haven't had much of an opportunity this week. I played it. I think I'm level 29 now. Like, I got close to level 30 the other day, and then maintenance started. I was like, what? Maintenance. Uh, let's run here. Can I hit from here? Yeah, 100%. Boom. Yeah, easily pause. I mean, you probably could in New World. Like, you could just leave, but you might get killed by the wild stuff, and then... <laughs> um, I'm just going to move back a little, back into here. Nice. Oh, got him! Mo with the epic barbarian. Thank you, thank you. And we'll shield old mate. There you go. Enjoy that shield. No excuse right now. You will... Oh, what would that say? It said I'll take two damage somewhere. Where did it say that? Oh, I missed it. It popped up too quickly. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Doesn't go on sale often? 70% off? That's pretty good. I'll check it out for sure. Searching the Brigand's Horde, you find supplies and gold, most likely stolen. Take everything. We've done enough donations. There's no shame in taking these things. Their true owners are most likely dead or far away. Continuing journey. Uh, do we want to go the heroic node? Yes. Always go heroic. Sign of the bear. 
Late one evening, as you're about to begin looking for a place to rest, you see a strange shadow watching you from the darkness. Between the trees, it looks like a bear, but its eyes are of the brightest blue. It turns and walks away, looking back once as if asking you to follow. Let's follow it. You try to follow the bear, but it disappears from view, and now you are not so certain whether you ever saw a bear at all. Perhaps you mistook the stars for its eyes and the shadows of the trees for its body? Keep searching. At last you discover not a bear, but a large stone in the likeness of one. Could this be what you saw? It does not appear to have been carved or hewn, hewn, but to have gained this shape in some natural fashion. Garlands of dry grass and blue flowers have been placed at its feet, and between them lies a relic as if waiting to be picked up. Take the relic. Bear has gained two stacks of periapt of res resilience. If unarmored, take minus two damage taken from all sources. Oh, okay. Let's take it. Oh, cool. That was it. Now we're at the city. This is where we need to go. Oh, Lucy. What are you doing? Settle, please. We've got the zoomies. Sumo! Hello. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Ariyama. <laughs> All right, the Siege of Corbinic. Look at that thing, look at it. Do I have to fight that? At last, your journey across Albion is at an end. You have arrived at the castle Adventurous, where the Grail was found and the Fisher King was healed, Corbinic. The domain of the Grail King is under siege. A vast behemoth of a beast howls at the sky, announcing the true might of the Cataclysm and the end of all things human. Even the magic of Corbin, it cannot hold it back. Draw the attention of the beast, plus two power. Expires, losing all stacks when taking damage. Expires after one fight. Okay. Lay a thing for the epic paladin. Shoot the beast. Merwin gains keen, plus two damage to the next attack. Expires, losing all stacks after one strike. Let's just shoot it. Let's shoot it. The arrow strikes the behemoth, but the abomination tide is so thick that you might as well toss the pebble at it. You now have the beast's attention, however, it roars and turns towards you. Uh oh. Defend the gates! It's gonna be hectic. Oh, look at it! And it's got little friends too! Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Where are you going? Stay there. Oh my goodness. What? All right, where am I? Okay, this skirmish introduces abominations. They are tougher and meaner than mere mortals, so stay sharp. Each abomination also has unique passive status effects. Be sure to hover over their portraits to read them. Over their portraits, okay. Right. I think we're okay. I think we can beat them. What's that prediction? Can Blakey win? Oh, stock up on the no. All right, let's move into position. Uh, front and center, Brunor. Uh, I'm gonna need you to be nice and quick right there. Can you shoot from there? No, you cannot. Move into position. And shoot. Oh my god. It has why is why do they have so much armor? Crazy. Uh can you move no not two. Alright, let's move him up. Dumped all your points in, yes! <laughs> oh no, okay. I'll try my best for you, I'll try. I'm shielding these two. Okay, that's some good strats. Good strats. Where's that big guy going? Where are you going? 
Okay, Beagle got home, Georgia. You don't have to do all of it. <laughs> um, all right, let's 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 take out this small one. It's nearly dead. Well, not really dead, but we've done, we've done a fair bit of damage to it. I'm gonna bash, can I bash the big guy? No, I can't, I can't. I can do the small guy though. Ooh, I hit two of them. That's good. All right, we'll do it. We'll do the battle soon. Um, oh, it's got, oh, come on. It's got one health. Stitch up. <laughs> I matched you. Peer pressure. <laughs> um... No, I'm going to have to move up a bit. Shit, I didn't want to move this close. On the behemoth. Got it. Oh, it's enraged. It's enraged. It is enraged. Oh, oh my goodness. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. How? How? It shot me. Quicken. Quicken can't be good. Quick plus two. Evading plus four. <coughs> Repaired shot. Last turn. Okay, good. That's good. Okay, one down. One down, three to go. I'm going to take out this big guy. Um... And now I'm going to move in front of her to protect her. Oh, jerk. The jerk. Shoot the behemoth. And I know I just moved, but I'm moving back. Okay, we're good here. We're good. Is the behemoth? No, the behemoth's not even nearly dead. This is such a stitch up. Grab some pizza. Oh, is it? Mmm, pizza. Gotcha. And then let's give your armor back. Well done. Ow. Ah, you missed. Try to spit on me. Ew. Alright, my turn. Hiya! And hiya! Yes! Come on! <laughs> Shoot this one. I think we're in a good position here, folks. Let's shield up. Excellent. Oh, it's spinning again. Oh, it got me. It got me. Uh, it's preparing a shot. As soon as I move, it's going to shoot me. Yep. Cool. Shoot it. Um, I can't really move that far. I'm going to move back this way so I can shoot this one later. Because this one is dead. You're dead. Let's move a bit closer. Yeah, it's only got seven health left. This is it. I don't care how quick. Oh, evading. Evading sucks. Oh, it's running away. It's running away. What a jerk. Got it. Victory. We did it.
It is done. The mighty behemoth has been slain and Corbinic has been saved from the cataclysm. Then to the castle. The lord of the castle comes forth to meet you. His name is King Percival. Once he was a knight of the round table and an instrument of Merlin. But now he has become the Grail King, protector of the secrets of Corbinic. Let's humbly greet him. Tell him to find a healer quickly. What? Welcome to my castle, saviors of Corbinic, the Grail King says with a bright smile and embraces each of you. You're surprised to see that he appears young. As young as he was when he first came to this castle and alarmed to see that he's bleeding from many wounds. Oh shit. I will, Georgia. I will for sure. He laughs. You are the only healers I need, friends, he says, for these wounds were not inflicted in combat. They are the price I pay for helping Merlin craft the Grail. When our world is wounded, I am wounded. Oh shit. If you wish to heal me, you must heal the sickness of the Cataclysm. Yes, we are. I mean, I am well aware of it and of Merlin's plan. Come, let me show you our castle. Follow him. Despite the siege, Corbinic is most beautiful. Though King Percival is a vassal of Camelot, Corbinic has retained a certain independence and not been subjected to the same edicts of taxation and conscription as the rest of Albion. Only the many ships that set sail from its harbour tell of Galahad's endless wars against the east. And as you enter the town within the walls, Percival summons his treasurer. A reward for our heroes, he exclaims, though blood runs from his wounds without cease. Gradle, hello. This is the Hand of Merlin. Uh, a game I am playing thanks to Versus Evil. I'm giving away game keys if it interests you. Um, but it's pretty, pretty cool so far. I am enjoying it. A ship will be waiting for you in the harbour in the morning, the wounded king advises you. Until then, the castle is yours to explore. We will, I will, make certain that your heroic deeds are known to all. Good luck, friends. I must rest now. Thank you, Georgia. Um, let me quickly switch over. So let's go over here. Okay, it's black for a second. There we go. Let's do this battle. Uh, I'll zoom out a bit, just a tad. Haste. Oh, really? Buddy was playing this. That's cool. Yeah, it's very fun. I'm enjoying it. I don't play a lot of, like, turn-based combat. Um, but when I do play it, I enjoy it. I did put it on, like, hard difficulty, though. <laughs> uh, let me do that. How do I do it? Where is it? I can't even see it, Georgia. Uh, I think I'm in a different screen to you. I know you do, Mo. I know it's your favorite. That's why <laughs> I know you haven't joined the giveaway because you probably own it already and you love it. It is your favorite. I know. Um, 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 um. Where is it, Georgia? Predictions, predictions. I might have to go to a different window. Hang on. If I go channel, mod view, there it is. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's different on my screen. I'll have to show you my screen one day, but it's a bit different. Yeah, I thought so, mate. I thought so. <laughs> Victory! When you take over. That's right. Well done, everyone. Cole, Mo, congratulations. Ooh, look what I got. Animal Crossing stream. Oh my god. Yes. You can teach me everything. Mo's been doing a very good job of teaching me as well. Mage scrolls. I got double mage scrolls. How are you, Stradle? I can upgrade something? Yeah, the mage. Mm. 
one more and then it's the, the skin chest. That's pretty exciting. Uh, what do I, I need to put in healers. So I'll put in the healer for this one. I'll put in the battle plan for you. Just send away across here, I reckon. I'm there with me. Got half an hour if you want to join in. Uh, there's the names that are in already. Cold and Georgia. If you guys want to join the giveaway, we're going to give it away after the next battle. A game key for the Hand of Merlin. Uh, thanks to Versus Evil. I will do a spin of the wheel though. So if you want to spin the wheel, do exclamation mark roll in chat. Oh, that's okay. We're doing a... Uh, Mo! <laughs> We're not giving away the game key yet. We're doing a wheel spin. And we'll, we'll give away the key after the next battle. Uh, Cold's got 75. But he can, he can join at any time, George. So just tell him to do exclamation mark roll now. Don't, don't do it before, uh, before I do it. You're working in the background. <laughs> All right, so... The roll's just for the spin, uh, which I think old Delio has one with 75. Going once, going twice. Sold. This is stupid. You got five potty on? No. I only do it when the exclamation mark joins being taken up by a giveaway. And it's 100k. 100k for Cold Elio. Congratulations. Alright, let's go back into it. It will uh, go black for a second, but not for too long. Here we go. Ask him about his odd way of speaking. You know, because he keeps saying we and then he changes the I. I going to be the lowest. Yeah, like golf. Well, and Mo would win, because Mo rolled a one. <laughs> the burdens of the Grail King are many. Some you would not understand, and some I do not understand myself. You have been touched by Merlin, as he is now. Weak, forgetful, a shadow. When Merlin turned his gaze to me, he was at the height of his power. His eyes burned like a thousand stars. My mind was tossed across time and space, and I saw... Myself, all of myself, everywhere, forever. We are connected, entangled. You, you cannot understand what we are, what I am. He sighs and leaves without saying more. Let's look around. You have heard that wolf again. <laughs> Don't tempt me, buddy. <laughs> Mo, that was very good now, Mo. I'm impressed. The people of Corbinic smile when they see you, treating you like the heroes you are. People are singing in the streets, celebrating your victory. Let's visit the Market Hall. The Market Hall of Corbinic is small but lively. Some of the goods traded here have just arrived from lands across the sea, and everything seems to be of the highest quality. Oh, we get discounts. Discount the blacksmith. Nice. Um, let's upgrade. Ooh. Okay, so we now have plus one power, plus three damaged armor. Let's upgrade again. Ooh, okay, that's good. That's good. I like that. And let's upgrade his armor as well. You deserve it. And we can only do one more. And I feel like our archer with the bow. Let's do that. I would think it's Team Wolf in this chat. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm holding Tweety. I don't know why. Uh, proceed. There we go. Cool. So now we've got plus two power, plus two damage versus targets with negative status effects. Okay. Let's go. Well, I don't have any money. It's best boy. <laughs> it doesn't help. 
He has at one point, doesn't he? Is my memory that bad? I wish I could watch T uh, play Twilight Princess today, but I was at work. Oh, the emo. <laughs> I was going to say in the game, don't you like howl to play songs? Visit the stalls. There are only a few stalls, but they are well stocked and the traders are extraordinarily friendly. Perhaps it's because of your role in lifting the siege, or perhaps it's simply because this is Kormanik. Ah, uh, let's purchase supplies. Cool, leave the stalls. Now we got 10 food. Sings in Wolfie. <laughs> Let's leave. The people of Korbnik smile. Yes, they do. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's visit the healer. Oh, what? The healer costs money. The house of healing is a rotunda built by the Romans in days long gone. On its floor, there is great mosaic depic depicting Apollo Medicus. The mistress of this house is Blanche Fleur, King Percival's wife. Unlike her husband, she is aged, though she remains beautiful. Okay, let's leave. We don't have the money. And let's retire for the day. A servant of King Percival brings you to a room set aside for you. It's the most luxurious place you have seen in some time. And though your dreams are very strange, in the morning you feel rested and ready to continue. Let's board the ship. When we're well rested, we get plus two move, plus four max armor. It does not decay. That's good. Expires after one fight. Dude. Where we go? We're on the ship. What's happening? We're on the ship. Matters of France. I got the achievement too. Are we in France now? Oh my goodness. There's going to be a lot of French words. <laughs> Your journey has brought you to the Marca Hispanica, a wild mountainous region between Charlemagne's empire and the southern lands of Al Andalus. No, no one ruler holds absolute sway here. And the only constant in the lives of ordinary people is the ceaseless war that Charlemagne and his ally King Galahad have fought against the Saracens. You must make your way to Roncevo Pass, near crossing to Al Andalus. The power of the cataclysm is growing. The massacre you find before you now bears testimony to that fact. Hundreds of Frankish knights lie dead, torn apart by abominations. A savage battle was fought here, in which victory was gained only at the cost of total sacrifice. Ooh, approach the survivors. A few survivors, battered and broken, have gathered around their dying leader. By his coat of arms, you recognize him as the Paladin Roland, one of the greatest knights of this age, and a champion of Charlemagne. I don't even know if I'm, I'm just going with Charlemagne. Let's, let's, let's do that. Uh, his side is torn and blood drips from his lips. When he sees you, his eyes brighten and he gestures for you to speak to him. Kneel before Roland. I can see, I can see what you are. Roland stammers as blood gushes from his mouth. Morgris was right. Merlin is, Merlin is alive. Take my horn. Find, find good men willing to fight. Meet my army at Roncevo Pass. You must. If the pass falls, the pass falls, we all fall. His eyes fix on something far beyond you. Forgive me, he whispers. Then he's gone. Let's take the horn. On use, applies one stack of staggered to all enemies. They cannot use offensive abilities for one turn. Okay, that's pretty cool. You take Roland's horn. Famed of song and legend, his surviving men do not object. They nod silently and set out, limping, to prepare for the coming battle of Roncevo Pass, knowing it will most likely be their last. Hectic! Hero level up. Uh, 
uh, level up. What are we getting? Cleave. Deal six damage to all adjacent units. Oh, okay. Actually, I might get that, but let's see. Stunning blow. Yep, we're stunned. Shield block. Gain four stacks of resistance. I'm going to go with Cleave. I reckon they'll come in handy. Merwin, what do you have? Shiv. <laughs> Shiv. Deal five health damage to an enemy in melee range, bypassing armor. Gain three stacks of aiming. Ooh, okay. Plus three range. Okay. Volley. Deal five damage to all enemies in area. Wow, they're giving me a lot of, like, AoE attack. I'm, I think I'm going to have to take it. See, there's going to be a few enemies in this area. Morgan. What have you got, Morgan? Light. Apply five stacks of blighted to an enemy. Gain one stack of Marta. When hit outside your turn, all allies react with that out of turn action. With one AP and reducing cooldowns by minus one. Okay. Hello. Applying a hallowing aura around the caster, green two stacks of hallowed allies in the three tile radius. Here's our support. I'm go just going to have lots of auras going on. Um. Let's give, let's give you the horn. There you go, you got the horn. Let's go. Now, where do we have to go? City of... Where's our journal? Journal? No. Nah. Alright. Big ol' Blakey. Merlin's Cave. That sounds like a cool place to go. Should we go to Merlin's Cave? Wow, this is a big map. The Shrieking Marsh. Yeah, let's go to Merlin's Cave. A likely tale. Your journey has brought you to a small mountain village. Sometimes travelers like yourselves are cause for excitement in such places. But today, another has got the village's attention. A young red-haired troubadour by the name of Reynard is entertained with a tale of heroism and chivalry, which he claims is entirely true. Is there gold and goods? There is. Well, I've only got... I've spent all my gold to buy goods, armor and weapons and stuff like that. The Troubadour's tale is about Roland. It begins with the 12 peers assembled at Charlemagne's court. Now, when you count all the paladins mentioned, there are actually 15. <laughs> Charlemagne's wise advisor, Alcuin, bestows a quest upon the paladins. Travel to the court of Harun al-Rashid. Convince him to marry his daughter to Charlemagne's son, Charlotte. Return within 12 days. Yeah, it's good. Everything I do, like all the quests and stuff, give you rewards as well. Um, there's a bit to it. Tell them Roland is dead. Oh, I'm going to bring down the mood of this place. You watch the happiness in the villagers' faces turns first to shock, then to sadness. Reynard shakes his head. You've ruined it, you depressing fools. He mutters, picking up his things. How very unnecessary. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I, is that it? Did, oh, I've ruined their time. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Heroic node. Oh, here we go. One cold morning, your journey takes you past an abandoned house, perhaps an old herbalist shop by the side of the road. There was a battle here, but it is clear that this was a battle of man against man, not a fight against abominations. How foolish it all seems when you consider the cataclysm. Whether the people who lived here were Christians or Saracens, what was the virtue in destroying their home? Let's pull the room. We have you surrounded. Lay down your weapons and surrender your gold. We may let you live. Voice suddenly calls. Are these banners Christians or Saracens? If they prey upon ordinary people, it matters little. Alright, it's on. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Alright, there's five enemies. 
Three rogues, a rascal. The rascal dude. Doesn't have any weapons and a pillager. All right, well. Bring it on. Oh, 12 damage. Can I shoot you from here? I can't. Uh, I'm gonna have to run. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're gonna take out one guy already. Oh. <laughs> am I a Captain TV stream team? I am not. No, I think I think that's a very prestigious title. Um, but yeah, thank you for the epic barbarian. Maybe one day. But I think it's for like streamers that stream a lot of stream raiders. You want the drops? I think it I think there was a list in that email, like that email I showed you. I don't want to blow the horn. And to, I don't want to end the turn for all characters either. How do I just go to the next character? Ah, there we go. Um, let's go here. I'll shield this. And there's it. Oh, they have a link there too? Oh, good. No one has them enabled? Oh, no. It's sad. I, I mean, I did look. I don't think I'd have them. I'll, I'll double check in the next battle. This could be a good opportunity if they... Oh yeah, you get in there too and I'll cleave, I'll cleave all three of them, hopefully. Let's try it. Cleave. Oh, I hit my own dude. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that, buddy. I'm so sorry. Gotcha. Nice. I missed one, though. Getting better at the, the combat. Let's run here. There we go. Now your turn. Yeah. Missed. What well, a stitch up. Lucy, what are you doing? You're on a mission tonight, aren't you? She's a menace. You're a menace. Come here. Yummy. Come on. There you go. Need my hand though, so. Now we're hallowed. Oh, that hurt. Did you like that? <laughs> the TikTok where it's like the Mario music and it's like one, two, three. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna like it either. Oh, no, nah, she doesn't. I'll try. I'll try to do it with Lucy later. <laughs> Did ya? Let's get this guy. Take that. And then, how far can I go? No. 40% chance. Come on. Miss! Not having a good time here. Not having a good time. Uh, Morgan, you move there, mate. End him. Get him. <laughs> Set piece for you. Watch me on the big screen. Hey, there you go. Look at this guy with his one HP. One uh, HP in the dream he has. 
Oh, don't shoot the old man. Big screen Blakey. When I look my best. It's true. Victory. Easy. Easy. The bandits are dead. For a moment, you wonder how different these men truly were from knights who kill in the name of their king. Had the world taken a different turn, they might have been peasants, merchants, even scribes. Now they are dead, and that is all. 4K! Oh my goodness, 4K. The only thing of value in the house is a weapon. It would seem that it was of no help to the inhabitants who left it untouched. But perhaps you might find it more useful. Oh, cool. Take the weapon. I think I've already got a sword like that, though. They're both regular. I don't know what the difference is, so let's just go straight. The Nameless Dead. You are traveling on a snowy road alongside a broad river when you hear a scream pierce the cold mountain air. Following the sound, you arrive at an abandoned campsite. While there is not a soul in sight, the embers of the fire are still smoldering. Whoever set up this camp has not been gone for long. Let's go 12k, Aussie vision. Look for tracks. All right, that's that's smart. Merwin crouches and examines the ground around the campfire. There was some struggle here, she muses. Two men, mm-hmm, they were fighting. She stands up and takes a few steps away from the fire. But not each other, Merwin points at the ground, suddenly agitated. Look at these tracks. There are abominations nearby. Attack them. Let's attack them. We got this. Um, can I charge or is it too far? No, uh, I can't charge. Let's run. There. And there. Damn, I can't attack yet though. <laughs> I can probably shoot from here though. Can I shoot? Yeah, I can. No valid targets. That's a valid target right there. Look, it's right there. Hang on. I can sprint a bit further. Shoot. Excuse me? Why isn't that a valid target? Oh my god. Damn. All right, well, I'll just put in Archer's Vigil then. If it moves, I'll shoot it. Morgan, can you run that way, please? And then shield our good friends. Nice. End turn. Look, it's right there. Ah. Oh. Get up. There you go, shot it. Shot it in a ram. Shot that one too. Am I gonna shoot this one as well? Damn. Too far. Alright. Let's slash and bash it. Slash and bash. Gotcha. <laughs> oh. That was an unnatural gaze. Get him! <laughs> Mo! I'm in the ranks. Can I hit it? No valid targets. That is so weird. Let's just run. Can I run? Can't move there. Why can't I move there? I'll move here then. Ah, uh, Morgan. If I move you here, I should be able to hit that. Can I hit it? I can. Excuse me? There we go. But now I'm vulnerable. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Both? Your controllers won't connect? What's going on? Let's turn around slowly. Flash it. Ho 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 ho. 10 damage. Um, 
I may as well just clear. There's not two there, but I'll just do the damage. Oh, I forgot to attack my own people. There's a there's a pro tip for you all. Leave hurts your own people. Don't do it. I'm gonna sprint out here. I'm gonna attack this one. Maybe a hard reset for the controllers? Maybe. Yeah. You you would know the best steps. I don't have uh, PlayStations or anything like that. I use the controllers on PC, but I just gotta plug it in. Good luck. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna take this one out. Let's take this one out. Yeah. Oh, still got a little bit of health. Still got a little bit. Let them do what they want to do. Next minute. Yeah, there you go. You're in. You're in. We'll give the way after the next uh, stream raiders battle, which wouldn't be too far away now. Maybe in the next 10 minutes or so. Three minutes. There you go. I should finish this battle by then. No, I have to say, how could you not like turn-based combat? Is Do you not just love this right now? Gotcha! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's shooting me. Ah, yes, you missed. Sucked in. I hope I don't miss now. <laughs> a miss for a miss. I can't think of anything better. Me neither. Like, I'm racking my brain. George, thank you for the epic balloon buster. Alright, let's get into it. Let's get into it. This mandrake needs to go. You need to go. It's working. Nice. Nice. It's good. That's good. What is happening? Look at that. It's pre what is it preparing for? Why is there so many skulls on the ground? I do not like that. We are getting out of those skulls. Quick, move out. Move out. Oh, I can still shoot. That's good. No valid targets. It's right there. Is it being blocked? It must be blocked. Let's move again then. Let's move back. Yeah, that's right, Cat. Yeah, that's right. XCOM-ish style uh, medieval game. Well, it's like it's like um, turn-based combat, which I'm enjoying at the moment. Definitely different to what I normally play, which I like. I'm getting used to it. Like this. To see what this does. What this is new. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Ow. Maybe it didn't do anything because there's no one on the skulls. I should have left someone on there just to see what happens. What's happening? Anything coming from there? No. I might just knock the mouse. I did knock the mouse. Look, there's more skulls. Maybe this happens if you're doing it for too long. Alright, there's only one left. One left. Uh, let's move there. Shoot it. Trent from Punchy? No. No, I'm not. I, I, it's going to be tomorrow, not a stream. That I dress up for Halloween. Just because it's my last stream before Halloween, so... You'll have to find out then. 
Catch that. Thank you for the epic barbarian. For anyone that's not Australian and doesn't know who Trent from Punch is, I recommend not Googling it. <laughs> or the battle. All right, let me finish this battle and then we'll do that battle. And then we'll give away the game key. If you haven't joined the giveaway for the game key, exclamation mark, join. <laughs> I do know. And you will think less of us. <laughs> no, Cole. No. This guy's been a thorn in my side. There we go. There we go. Done. There we go. <laughs> I've, I've, doomed, I've doomed us all. <laughs> like shameless. All right, cool. So we beat him. Let me read the journal uh, after. Let me get this up and running. So the battle. Da -da. Let me make it full screen. Start battle. Uh, let's see. There's all the names that are in. We'll give away a game key after this battle. Uh, so if you do exclamation mark join in chat, you will join. Damn, this is sicko. Oh, God. What have you started, Dreidel? What have you started? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right, Georgia. You want me to look up drops? I don't think I have any drops. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, if I was playing First Class Trouble or Apex, I could. I've got it for that and a few other games that I don't play, but no, no stream raiders that I can see, unfortunately. Damn. It's alright, Trader. Me too, Ebs, me too. Like old Greg. I'm old Greg! You ever drink Baileys from a shoot? Bring back Apex one day, Ebs. One day. If, 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 if it lands on um, shooters on the theme wheel, then it could happen. Vampires is next weekend. The theme. Dreidel caps that potty. Congratulations. All right. This is the skin chest. This is it. Well, yeah, I, I'm going to need Caldelia to carry me. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't know that one, Dreidel. Ebbs might. Which trailer park boys and cast stop? Uh, I'm going to put in... Wow, there's just a lot of stuff, isn't there? I might put in the artillery for this one. We might need to shoot some stuff from afar. We can't get through the doors. Uh, but yeah, put some here if you like. You could put some there, I guess. Maybe even put some here. Just go wherever you like. Wherever you like. There's there's the battle plan if you need it. Oh look, we've already got an epic buster. Thank you, Kai Gao. He's hilarious. So he's chooks at people trying to steal boats. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Adam, thank you for the epic artillery. Alright. Let's see who's won our second game key for the night. Thanks to Versus Evil. I'll give you five more seconds. Five. If you haven't done exclamation mark join in chat. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Mutants. Hey. There you go. Thank you, Georgia. Oh, Mo, you just missed out. Here, I'll do it again for you. No. <laughs> There you go, Muna. I'll send you your key after stream. Congratulations. Uh, we still got two more to give away. So I will restart that now. There you go. So if you do exclamation mark join from now until 
the end of the second battle from now, so like an hour's time. Was it really? Was it really invalid? <laughs> show who want to show me up. Let me uh let me check that real quick. It shouldn't be invalid. Uh server settings, there it is. Invites. It says it's still active. That's odd. Um, let me make a new one then. Let me make a new one. And never expire. Yep. Copy. Bear with me. Bear with me. And Discord. Get your hand off my penis! Get your hand off my penis! Why did you do this? Hop in the car. Hop in the car. Alright, try that one. Hopefully that one works. Well, it should work, because it's fresh. It's a fresh one. No prison can hold yeah, that's me! That's weird, I don't know Adventure why. Away. It was set to never Huzzah! expire. Ugh, filthy rat! You shall be exterminated! We all know I'm the pro stream. Huzzah! Well, there you go, that one worked. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's get back to the game. Let me uh, hide that quickly. All right, you can still join, even though the names aren't showing. So exclamation mark join in chat. Goes black for a second. It does it with some games. There we go, we're back. No worries, Dreadle, welcome. All right, the creatures are defeated and their ichor soaks the snow like the blood of their victims. You do not know who died here today, but at least their deaths have been avenged. You contemplate taking another look at their camp and looking for clues as to their identity before moving on. So the camp. You find a knapsack filled with some bread and dried meats, but nothing else of note besides a bedroll and a change of clothes. Both items are well made, but they tell you little you did not know before. Taking the food, but leaving the other items behind, you continue your journey. What are you doing, Lucy? She's like on, on the other side of the monitor. Like this. On top of the monitor. Like shaking it. That's why my webcam is shaking. What are you doing? Anyone want a free cat? Yeah, that's right. I said it. Okay. Let's leave. There you go, you go on to George's house. <laughs> I never knew cats could go, yes. Is that in your way? Do you want me to move that? There you go. Train, <laughs> for a cat. I don't have a yard, otherwise that would be cool. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be very nice for the dog. All right, we're going to a corrupted node now. Oh, help! A Frankish boy, no older than 10, cries as he runs towards you on the road through the mountains. Sarakins are attacking the fort. Please, please help us. You follow the boy to a fort, one of the many built by Charles Martel. You can hear the battle raging from a distance. But as you approach, you are surprised to see that the attackers are not Sarakins, but abominations of the cataclysm. You can sense the presence of a wound in the veil nearby. Uh, well, yeah, let's ask the boy. My father is a soldier, the boy says, and he tells me many stories about Sarakins. They are terrible monsters and very ugly. So these must be Sarakins. They hate us because only our God is real, you know. Please, if you don't help us, they'll eat me. They love eating little boys. 
How foolish of us, you think, to make each other, to make each other into monsters when there are real monsters in the world who threaten us all. All right, let's attack them. Uh, there's a few, isn't there? One, two, three. Where's the fourth one? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Oh, excuse me. Um. All right, let's get in position. Right there. Nice. Let's get you here. Yeah. There. The Blakey story time. <laughs> oh, Mo. Thank you, Mo. Do a lot of talking. I need the water. Thank you, thank you. Now I can attack. That. Got him. Change it to blue as well. Do like the blue. Move you here. That's pretty, oh, I can't get everyone in. That's right. I'll just protect you too. There you go. Bruno's health's not very good. I'm gonna have to deal with I hope I can heal him. Yeah, it spat on me. What is that thing? Can you please stop spitting on Bruno? Um. Nah, I better not cleave because that'll hit. I'm pretty sure that'll hit Merwin. Let's just slash it. Slash and bash. Yeah, trusty combo. I like it. Uh, let's take this thing out. Oh, it's got thick skin. That's not part of the deal. You want to see the Funko collection? New one tonight. Got Sylvester. Sylvester and Tweety. I do have a Channel Point Redemption as well, if you want to see one. Which I can show after this battle if you need. Um, let's go. That's armor points. Do I not have a health one? I thought I had a health one. Oh, it's this. Restore five health to an ally. There we go. And hit it. Miss. Oh, shit. There we go. There's some more armor for ya. And we'll get you to go back. Thanks. All right, we're good. We're good. Ow! Oh, did you see that? That's unfair. That's unfair. Oh no! Not Morgan. Trail, thank you for the epic war beast. Hmm. They're doing a good job at splitting up. Not on my watch. I did a lot of damage. That's good. Okay. Gotcha. Can't see. Am I on a skull there? I think I might be. I should probably move out. Move up to here, maybe. Okay, Lucy. Lucy's trying to grab Tweety. No! Leave Tweety alone! Leave Tweety alone! Um, let's move out of the skulls. 
Alright, that's one down. One down, three to go. She's a cat. You can't have Tweety. Has everyone done their turn? Yeah. Happy <laughs> Sylvester out. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, it hurt, it hurt his uh, mate. Yes. Well, now we know what happens if we're standing in the in the skulls. It's another place you want to be. Noxious tongue. Ew. I hope I make it to a town soon. I need some healing. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. There's some good sound effects. Oh no, it's shooting me. Die. Okay. How are we looking? How are we looking? Morgan? <laughs> Gonna shield our friend. Ooh, a repeat ball. Oh boy. We're getting low on health now. Oh, look at all the skulls. Fuck off. Let's get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, follow suit. And Morgan, you got to get out of there as well, mate. I was hoping to blow it up on the stealth, but it didn't. Morgan's dying, like, quickly, so it's not good. Um... He must be poisoned or something. There you go. Enjoy that, mate. Miss! I'm struggling here. Hopefully I don't lose anyone. And now, hello, can I reach from here? I cannot. That's fine though. Give her some more armor. What you got? What you got? Nothing. You got nothing. Shot it. Good. Oh, so we got the global bonus in the Pokemon game, did we? So ghost and ground spawn 70%. Okay. Oh, so if you run through this stuff, you take damage. That's why. I ran through that shit with Morgan. That's why he was near death. Okay. Well, now I know. I'm gonna do that again. Ow. That, that took a lot longer than it should. I will admit. But, you got the victory. The survivors gather around you, watching in wonder as you banish the corruption. They do not know what you are doing, cannot sense what your connection to Merlin allows you to sense. But when the groves that infested the fort begin to wither, great cheer goes up. Although the battle has cost many lives, the survivors insist on presenting you with a hefty reward. It may be more than they can afford, but they know that without your help, you would have perished. I need... I need... Oh, do we summon them? Do we need them? Do we need their help? Do we need their help? What? What? What do you... Jeez, jeez, Blakey, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, come with us. 
You tell the men to keep their food and their gold, as they'll need them for the journey to Ronsabu Pass. There, however, they'll have to fight not against monstrous Sarakins, but for them and for all mankind. Merlin's Cave, down there, let's go. Of Wedding Vows. Yeah, just put it in, uh, I don't know, if it's comedy, maybe memes? Do I have any other channels? Yeah, just put it in memes. Memes will do. You are traveling along an old Roman road. The huge cobblestones have passed the test of time, but their uneven surfaces prove too much for the wheels of the carriage that you spot by the wayside. The vehicle is a strangely ornate affair, not made for roads as rough as this one. And next to it sits a handsome young man in fine clothes who is looking rather dispirited. Let's ask him who he is. My name is Ramon of Agen, and today is both the luckiest and most accursed day of my entire life, he says dramatically, speaking as though he is an old man of 60 summers and another stripling who has scarcely seen 20. He pauses, seeming to expect some sort of reply. When none comes, he continues, Today I was to wed the beautiful Maria of Cardona, but since my carriage has broken down, this auspicious day is surely ruined. Wish him luck and leave. Now nah, we'll help you out. Offer to escort him. The journey is brief and surprisingly delightful as Raymond proves to be a pleasant traveling companion. When you arrive at the castle of Cardona, you are greeted by the parents of the bride, who are overjoyed that the groom has finally been found. Reward for your services to their family. Invite you to stay for the ceremony. Oh, cool! Let's stay for the wedding. I like a good wedding. Advanced corruption. The corruption will be faster. Shortening the time is in all nodes. Ah, I'll stay for the wedding. <laughs> the the world's ending, but you know, a wedding's a wedding. As long as there's an open bar, I'm happy. The wedding itself is as ostentatious as it is tedious. The bride and groom are both beautiful and young, but everyone can plainly see that they barely know each other. The ceremony is led by an old bishop who is so far into his dotage that his words are barely intelligible, and both Raymond and Maria are hesitant when they repeat their vows, clearly fearful that they might mishear what he is saying. Everyone, including you, breathes a sigh of relief once the ceremony finally comes to an end. Is that like most ceremonies though? Aren't most ceremonies like boring? It's it's the reception. That's the fun part. Enjoy the festivities. Explore the castle. Interact with the guests. Retire early for the night. Let's interact with the guests first. You speak with a young man who has traveled from a nearby castle. He explains that he is a friend of the family. But as much as you try to engage him in conversation, he seems terribly distracted, and you get little else out of him. Soon a maid appears at his elbow with a summons from the bride, and he excuses himself. Left to your own devices, you wander around for a bit before you retire to your chambers. Oh. Okay. Retire for the night? Oh, I wanted to do a bit more. In the morning, you wake refreshed and ready to continue your journey. Go to Merlin's cave. Without knowing why, you find yourself suddenly deviating from the road and advancing up the side of the mountain until you come to a cleft in the rock, which widens into a spacious cabin within which there is a door. Georgia, thank you for the epic flying rogue. Behind the door is another cabin, and within that stands an obelisk constructed of a species of stone hard and resplendent like fire. Routes off over with many talismans and charms. The rays which beam from the stone suffice to light up the entire cabin. Merlin, is that you? A voice says from behind the obelisk. Ask who it is. A woman of in indeterminable age steps out from behind the stone. Her robe is simple and her feet are naked, but she radiates great power. Merlin, master, where are you? You sense Merlin straining to assemble his shattered memories. He 
The spirit grows strong inside you, overwhelming you. Who are you? The woman's eyes fill with sadness and tenderness. And Melissa, Master, your priestess and servant. This is the cave where we created many enchantments for the Knights of the Round Table. But, Master, where are you? Why do you speak through these people? I am in Avalon, but I am diminished. Melissa sighs. I understand. So much lost. So many sacrifices wasted. If only Morgana understood. Maybe she will in time. But our quest continues. Despite Arthur's death. Please, Master. Tell me you've not given up. Hang on, I gotta make some room for Lucy. You wanna sit there? And <laughs> I gotta move that. There you go. Craig out, thank you for the Epic Saints. I like Epic Saints. Alright, let's go. Although Merlin's voice is agony to your ears, you are moved by Melissa's dedication to the cause. Oh. No, it's my mouse. Oh, I need to get a cat cam for you guys. What are you doing? Hang on. Let's just move the keyboard all the way over here, shall we? There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's my cat. And I'm trying to move the mouse and she grabs it. No. All right. Then I'll serve you now as I have served you always until the journey is ended or the cataclysm destroys us. Send your champions to me and I'll do what I can for them. Thank you, Melissa. Unexpectedly, Melissa laughs. Thank you. <laughs> You have changed, Master. I like it. But you must regain at least some of your old strength, if not quite become who you once were. There is an echo of your essence trapped within the obelisk. I will release it now. Ooh, absorb Merlin's power. Cool. Is Arnie George's proud? She didn't do anything. Melissa gently leads you back to the mouth of the cave. Gradually, Merlin's mind recedes back to Avalon. I've given you all I can. Good luck, champions of Merlin. I hope you understand what an honor it is to have been chosen and how much Merlin has sacrificed to save your world. Essence available. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Warp. Oh, so they are. Oh, these are the spells. Okay. Warp. Uh, create a space of localized space-time distortion, applying one stack of negative warp to enemies and one stack of positive warp to allies. Ah, oh, so you get an extra action point. That's handy. Stasis. Apply two stacks of stasis to all enemies. Losing one stack per turn. Losing all stacks when taking damage from attack, so it just makes them pause, I guess. And Thunderbolt, deal 15 damage to an enemy. 15 damage, that's heaps. Do I want the extra action? Last for six turns, so extra action for six turns is a lot. And then 50, yeah, let's get the extra action. Oh no, Lucy. See, I need, I need to click. Oh no! Okay. Is all Aussie for eh? Eh? Oh, they're all. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> There's different types of awe as well. Like when Lucy's doing something cute, I'm like, oh. Oh no, she's she's stacking my hand. I wish you could see. Okay, we're back. We're back. I need to use the mouse. So we're done with the cube. Hero level up available. Level up. Uh, now that you're rank four, you can start upgrading your skills. Skill upgrades change the behavior of a skill, usually making them stronger. Some skills can change their intended use drastically, so remember to read the cards carefully. You can also hide the cards there and you see what other upgrade options you have. Ooh. Ah, you don't bugging me. 
Uh, Lucy's good. If Percy comes in later, I'll show you Percy. Are they, that's that's our like stream mascots. Yeah, it's it's very rare, very rare. There he is. There he is. <laughs> okay, can I have my mouse back, please? Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna have to move her. I think I can't. I can't play like this. There you go. You see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what did I use that much? I use nearly all four of these. So let's upgrade Bash. Uh, deal seven damage. Bash down. If blocked, deal three damage. Ah. Targets hit also gain two stacks of guard down. Now nah, let's just go heavy bash. Heavy bash. Bathroom break. Um. Yeah, I think I'll just upgrade the shoot. Hunter's three. The target is killed. Gave one action point. Oh, that's good. Let's do that. I oh, so I gotta remember the kill with me win. Yes. Sphinxy. Thank you for the epic warrior. Now Morgan, what do you got, Morgan? Let's upgrade your attack. Deal five damage to an enemy on kill. Restore one charge to cast abilities and wreck. It takes three, plus three damage from singe attacks. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's good. That's good. Tribbles, hello, Tribbles. How are you? Welcome on in. Alright, let's go down to the city. We made it to the city. Huzzah! Stretch! Thank you, Georgia. Oh. You sleepy? Oh, thank you for stopping in. Glad you're here. You're still leading that top 10 easily. I think... I mean, it's not over. But you're the favourite to be gold master. Alright. Endora. You have come to Endora, a mountain city of great beauty. There is a place of ancient, half-forgotten histories of pagan tribes and Roman conquerors, but today its people swear allegiance to Charlemagne, who gave the city its present form as a bulwark against the invaders from al Andalus. A small shrine has been erected near the gate, in memory of Roland. It is wreathed in white flowers. They are thinking for the epic calendar. The wheel, double goal, anything can happen, that's true. Hopefully you don't get bankrupt. Fingers crossed. Enter the city. The city has been heavily fortified and the soldiers patrol the streets. The main square resembles a military encampment. The beauty of its arches, its towers, its great churches remains undiminished, however. Ooh, the battle. All right, let's do the battle. Um, excuse me, Lucy. Excuse me, Lucy. All right, I've got partial use of my mouse. Bit of haste for everyone. Let's go. We'll do um, do a spin as well after this. We can't do join because join is for the giveaway. So if you do exclamation mark join, wow. I'm giving away game keys. Um. And it's running now, so you can do exclamation mark join to join that giveaway. Exclamation mark roll like Georgia has and Coldelio has. Um, and we'll spin the wheel right after this battle. 88 is the number to beat. Rigged. Rigged. I'm gonna have a snake. Delicious. It's popcorn. <laughs> One eighty-seven. There it is. How dare you? You're close. 
you were close. Victory! There we go. I hope you all get a skin. Three extra winners, Potty, Georgia, and Adam. Congratulations. Let me hand in these quests real quick. I gotta, I gotta place another healer. Now I gotta get 10 assists, so that's that's handy. Alright. I'll place a healer and hopefully get 10 assists from it. I gotta upgrade. Monk. Cool. You didn't get one, Georgia? Oh no. No worries, Cole. Um, 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 uh, let's go up. Let's take on that one. I reckon that's the way to do it. I'm going to put in another healer. What skins do I have? Just the band-aid one? Okay. There we go. I'll put in a battle plan for you. There we are. Half an hour. Get in, drop some troops, Mo with a 72. No, I think it's cold. Cold. Is BRB, but we could spin it for him. We'll let him know what he wins. Exciting. <laughs> oh, no way. We'll definitely know. We'll definitely tell him what he got now. Big F in chat for Coldelio. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> oh, it's gold. All right. Wait for it to come back. There we go. Um, let's explore. At least it's not a negative balance, that's true. That is true. All right, so we're exploring. The servant, the soldier, the soldier, the soldier. Oh, okay, I don't like that. All right, so we've done two and three. Let's 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 try number one this time. Number one. It's actually no gold. Yeah, it's, it's not positive or negative. Ah. All right, what's the soldier doing? You stopped by an angry looking soldier. He glares at you suspiciously. We do not need your prying eyes in this city. There is enough trouble already without overly inquisitive fools making more or staric and spies gulking about. Sure, and you mean no harm. Ah. What a jerk. Let's visit the healer. Uh, I think we need moderate healing. Let's request... Oh, ba yeah, maybe even extensive healing. Look at that health. I think we need extensive healing. Look, Bruno's health didn't even go to full. The consulting his books, Magister Rickard tends to your wounds, carefully noting down every step he takes. One must always work precisely, he says. In his commentary de Bello Gallico, Caesar wrote, in bello parvis momentus magni cassus in intersectant. In war, events of momentous importance are the result of entirely insignificant causes. This applies also to medicine. The smallest thorn may beget the most terrible inflammation. Thanks for the Latin, bruh. Let's retire for the day. Next node. Bruh. The Bittle Battle. Bruh. Traveling along a broad and level stretch of road, you come across two men wearing rich robes and haughty expressions, standing around an ornate chair and holding heavy leather balls. You are cheating, Rage Nard. It is impossible that you hit the chair every single time and I not once. One of them shouts as you approach. Perhaps, dearest Sinopus, you are merely that much worse a marksman. The other snarls. Ask why they are quarreling. Each nine here has recently come from Albion and has brought with him this game called Bittle Battle. One of them explains, gesturing at the stool and the two balls. 
It seemed quite simple as you stand at a distance and attempt to throw these balls through the legs of the chair, but my friend here has bested me on every round. Oh, Cole. <laughs> Be careful. My friend here suggests that I am cheating, the other interjects. But due to his own clumsiness, he has so far failed to get a single point. Do not suggest I know, Stinopus roars. Ask why they're out here. We would take a rest on our way to my cousin's castle, Rage Knight explains, where I was hoping to introduce this game to his court when Cynopus challenged me to a game. Being the sore loser that he is, he has refused to move from this spot until he has won at least one round. Which I haven't yet. Keep <laughs> listening. As you see, quite sore. I'm afraid the rest of our party has since moved on, bored with our quarrel, Rage Nard sighs. Will you help us settle this? Stenopus asks. You seem accomplished. Perhaps we can win against this scoundrel. Attempt to challenge. Try to win by brute force. Try to win by brute force is 33%. Attempt to challenge is 25%. They're, they're very low odds. Um, okay, let's try to win by brute force, I guess. Oh boy. All right, one out of three, one out of three. Gonna pick down the middle. A few moments <laughs> later. Dash! Ah, Damn it. Try once more. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. We got this 50-50. 50-50. Uh, right. Yes. <laughs> Rajar chews his cheek. Seems I spoke too soon, he states flatly. Stilipus, who seems torn between elation and discomfort by your win, claps him on the back. At least now we know you weren't cheating, my friend, he says before he turns to you. You have our thanks. Take this as a reward for your help. Now, if you would now excuse us, we have a castle to reach before nightfall. A bronze bell. Inspiring. After using run, allies adjacent to target location gain stacks of inspired plus two power. Hates Aussies. <laughs> nah, we're cool. We're cool. Nah, uh, is that where we are? We want to go here. The coming storm. Your journey is interrupted by a strange, unseasonable, st unseasonal storm. It hovers over the road before you like a clenched fist, angry and ready to strike. An old man approaches you, followed by a younger woman. Their garments are drenched. It came in the bloody nowhere, the old man roars. Not just rain, oh no. The gods are not satisfied with mere rain. There was hail too. There is only one god now, father, the younger woman murmurs. One god or many, they still send us hail. Hail. At this time of year, what is the world coming to? Have the gods lost their minds? Pardon me, daughter, has the one god lost his mind? I must apologize for my father's blasphemy, she says, clearly ashamed. Find another path. Merwin recognizes the marks of an old hunter's path and leads you along a high ridge with the storm raging so close that you can hear the hailstones crashing through the branches. It is not a pleasant day's walk, but you make very good time. Oh, cool, the delay, delay corruption. Oh, good, because we, we wasted time at that wedding, so. That's probably a good thing. The Fool's Mirror. One morning, as you make your way along a winding mountain path, you notice a silvery shimmer on the frost-covered ground. Let's examine the shimmer. It is a single silver coin engraved with the image of a dancing fool who dances obliviously while surrounded by serpents. You cannot tell whether it is meant to be uplifting or to warn you of something. Oh, okay. What's this all culminating to? The heroic nose. The Battle of Belisgar. 
A bitterly cold wind is blowing and the sun is lost behind a sea of clouds on the day that you encounter a small group of knights bearing the standard of Girard de Rousselon. They look, they look begraggled and exhausted. Their leader, you discover, is Gerard de Rousselon himself. He's older than you expected from the tales about him. His face wrinkled and his hair turning white, but his eyes are clear and hard. Unsurprising, perhaps, in a man who once opposed Charlemagne himself. You, he says imperiously, I command you to assist us in the name of God and the crown. What's in it for me? All right. Something softens in his eyes and he nods. Thank you. He removes a tattered map from his backpack and lays it out in the flat boulder. Large group of bandits has taken advantage of the present chaos to raid the villages of the region, he explains. But the people of Belisgar have resisted them. In response, they are to be slaughtered. Two forces of bandits are moving on the village, even as we speak. Adam, thank you for the epic paladin. He traces the line across the map with his finger. One party will take the high path through the upper reaches. We aim to cut them off there. Then he traces another path. But another party will cross the bridge here to come at the village unseen. And we have no way of stopping them. That is what you must do for the sake of the common people. All right, let's set out for the bridge. Oh, we're catching a frillish. Ooh. You arrive at the bridge in the nick of time. The banners are about to cross. You can wait for them here for the sake of caution and strategy, or you can charge into their midst in an attempt to overwhelm them with your superior fighting spirit. Let's charge, plus three power. Here we go. How many enemies are there? Five. Are we surrounded? One, two, three, four, five, we are. Okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> All right, that's one down. Nice, nice. Um, Relish. That did a bit of damage, which is good. Nice. Um. Do I want to protect? No, not at this stage. I reckon this guy will go down pretty soon. But let's get him. There you go. When he moves, he'll get shot. That's that's what's going to happen. Please move. Oh, no. Move. Sky, hello. Oh, I might have to update your little... Um, Auto shout because you changed your name. I like it. Who this? Am I saying it right? Skyfa? Skyfa? I got it drain the lady. Yeah. Go on. Nah. Still going. Alright, let's cleave. Oh ho ho! I took them both out in one. I'll update it after stream for you, Sky. Can we get can we get a shout out for Sky, please? A proper one. <laughs> uh, let's move this way. Uh, let's shoot this one. Thank you. There we go. Hero unlocked. Wilfred in a single turn defeat three enemies. Oh, I unlocked a new hero. It's pretty cool. Just for taking taking three enemies out in a single turn. Is Christmas really seven weeks away? Wow. Wow. Oh, I missed. Shit. I missed again. I can't move though, that's the problem. Can I hit you? No. Uh, can I move? I can't move this guy either? Stitch up. Ability is disabled. Ah. 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 
missed again. I can't help it. He's like hiding behind that rock and I can't move. He'll move out, surely. No, oh, no, he's in cover. He loves it. He loves it. Oh, he's getting more cover. That's it. That's it. Can I charge from here? No, damn it. Uh, that's two action points. I can't attack from there. Can I move now? Oh, I can move. Yes. Thank you. He's got one HP. Can you believe it? How far can you move, Morgan? Oh yeah, pretty far. Pretty far. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Victory! Lucy moved. I can move stuff back now. There we go. A bit better. With the bandits slain, you head to Beliscar to await Gerard de Rousselon. The village is built in a remarkable location above a high cliff. From its gate, you can see for miles in every direction, except for the bridge where you fought, which is hidden by an outcropping. You wait for some time, but Gerard and his men do not appear. Neither do the bandits. At last, a scout is sent to discover what happened and returns to report that both sides perished in the struggle. Gerard de Rousselon is dead. Oh my goodness. Moved by Gerard's sacrifice and thankful for your help, the village blacksmith offers his services at a reduced fee. Sweet. Ah, uh, let's upgrade the bow. Proceed. That's nearly all my gold. Bad times, but we like having a strong bow. Now, let's leave. How do I look at my heroes? Or how do I change my heroes? It said I unlocked someone. Maybe I can't do that yet. Guardian call? No, that's that. Yeah, I don't have enough of those yet. Um. Oh. This is pretty cool. We can go through stuff that we've killed. The Mandrake. Though it resembles a plant, this vile perversion of nature has nothing in common with the gentle, sun-loving vegetation of our pleasant earth. Beware when you hear its abominable cry, and beware twice when at last your sword rids our plain of this ghoulish shrub. For even in death it will attempt to drag your soul into the underworld by releasing its wretched innards. That's what happened that last battle with all that green stuff on the ground. And I ran through it like an idiot. Won't do that again. Thorn Toad. We've seen one of these. We've seen a Thorn Toad. If a toad and a hedgehog were to mate in the fires of hell, their spawn might resemble this creature in appearance. Though it would undoubtedly be infinitely gentler and wiser of character. <laughs> This gasping, sluggish abomination is filled with feculent vapors, which explode forth from its orifices, as do barbed thorns that respect neither friend nor foe. Do not let this miasmatic aberration approach you. I won't. I will not. Skirala, thank you for the epic archer. Oh, I've seen them, the Wyvern. Outrageously disregarding all natural laws. This hellish creature levitates above the ground, its revolting appendages hanging hideously below. By this unseemly power of flight, it closes in rapidly on its poor victims who cannot be saved even by the sturdiest armor. Well, I beat it, so. Behemoth! This hulking brute is perhaps the most despair inducing of all the abominations the Cataclysm has disgorged into our unhappy realms. As well armored as it is mindless, this colossal beast charges into its victims with unspeakable force, and no barricade can protect against its dreadful wrath. I pity all who must face it. So there's still three unknowns that we haven't seen, but the red cap. What mad god, what deranged, chthonic demon could dream up such a creature? 
this ghastly ocular horror dragging its absurd, absurd body across the ground and soiling the land with its malignant mucus is truly the most laughable parody of life imaginable. Do not underestimate its power. Its long limbs will strike out at you, and when its evil gaze turns upon you, the beast will know your every move. Yeah, they're weird. They're weird things, but they, they die easily. Not on my watch. Thank you, Georgia. <laughs> uh. All right, yeah, so that's our war band. Okay. Let's go this way. Ooh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Live by the sword. One day, as you continue your journey across the Marca Hispanica, you find your progress blocked by a steep gorge with a wide, quick flowing river. A rustic informs you that the only place to cross is an old bridge built by the Romans, but he warns you that it is now held by a band of deserters who demand an outrageous toll of all who wish to pass. Head for the bridge. I can't pay even if I wanted to. The deserters are there as expected. Less expected is the cold proficiency with, proficiency with which they go about their wicked work. They might have abandoned the army, but they are still soldiers. Oh my god. Attack them. There's only four of them. Uh, one, two, three. Where's the fourth one? Am I blind? Ah, oh, there. I was blind. It's a witch. Okay. We should probably take the witch out first. How far can I go for that? No. All right. Well, let's run out. I like how I just charge in. Maybe I shouldn't charge in, but I'm doing it. So I do what I want. And over there. It's some cover. Nice. Morgan, run up here. End turn. Oh, what? Rooted. They always pick on Morgan, don't they? Oh, they're rooting us all. Um, if I, I, I can't move, I can't move. Shit. That bash? Nah. Uh, what? Cool, that'll do. Wish I could move. Let's go. Mirror win. I get extra actions now, which is good. So I could shoot you. Nice, and then I can do my archer's vigil. If any of them move, I'm gonna shoot them. Morgan, you're up, mate. You can move. Oh, that's good. Okay, well, let's move you here. Let's put down a totem. Heal up. And let's singe that guy. He's now singed. Uh, I'm going to have to end turn because, I, yeah, I can't move. I'm going to have to end turn. Oh, I'm blighted. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. At least they're shooting Br um, Bruno. He's got the most armor and the most health, so you keep attacking him. That's fine. <laughs> All right, three to go, and one of them is very low, and I can lunge again. This is fantastic. Gotcha. Cleave. Ah, uh, sucks to be you. Uh, let's go there. Poddy, thank you for the epic buster. 
Forty percent. Why? Let's run out there. There you go. Hundred percent. And back into the shield. <laughs> nice, Morgan. Um, hello. A three aura effects same unit. Oh, I got an achievement. Sweet. And I think that's all I can do this turn now. So I, I can't hit. Yeah, I can't hit him. All right, and. Yeah, they really love rooting us. Um, move on that side of him. Bash him. <laughs> I was hoping that would happen. Bashed him right into that debris. Victory! Live by the sword. The deserters are slain. They died as they lived, and now the wealth they stole from countless innocents will serve a better purpose. Oh! That sweet loot. Boom. And the level up. It's all happening. It's all happening. Uh, level up. Let's level up his slash. If damage is fatal, gain two stacks of grit. Okay, that's good. Yeah, let's do that. Gritting slash. Uh, let's upgrade Archer's Vigil. I use that a lot. I like it. Ready your reaction, taking a shot against any enemy that moves. Yep. Dealing six damage and playing two stacks of weak and two stacks of slow. Minus two power, minus two move. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I like that. Let's make him weak and slow. And now let's upgrade his total. Uh, two stacks of Expurger. Minus two damage taken from all sources. Take two health damage each to... Oh, it's poisoned. Ugh. I don't want to be poisoned. No, thank you. All right, this is it. We made it. At long last, you have arrived at Ronsebu Pass. Your journey through the Marker Hispanica is over. The abominations are everywhere. The battle prophesied by Roland is about to begin. Count Oliver, Roland's best friend, has taken command of Roland's surviving men and is preparing for battle. He is far from you, across a sea of abominations, but you can see that he is calm and collected, making the final preparations before the charge. When he sees you, he lifts a hand in greeting. No one is gone. Oliver does not stand alone. Thanks to you, he has at least some reinforcements. You wish you could have done more, but you know Oliver is not afraid. He'll fight as boldly as Roland would have, and the rest is in God, God's hands. A cry goes up from the assembled men. Montjoy! Montjoy! And it's a sound you will never forget. So they charge into battle. This is going to be hectic. What have we got? What is that? A cockatrice? Oh my goodness. There's only three enemies, but they're pretty hectic. We got a thorn toad. That's the cockatrice. Bad omen. Harbinger. Aurus. Uh, let's look at its aura. Gain five points of healing at turn start. What? It regenerates health. Stitcher. Each turn set all allies inspired to do. When hit by an ability, apply two stacks of vulnerable to the attacker. This is hectic. It's hectic. Grizzly, thank you for the epic vampire lord. I will drain him. I got this. What's what's uh the wyvern? The wyvern's easy. Alright. This one we might want to be a bit more strategic. Maybe not go into battle like a crazy maniac. Maybe. We can go a little bit forward though. I think that's the right thing to do. Yeah. Merwin, come a little bit forward please. Um, 
Let's take on the, the toad. Shoot the toad. Nice. And then Hunter's Vigil. And then let's use the horn. I'll make him staggered. I don't no, I don't have anything that can do that, unfortunately. I, I've got spells that can restore health. And then when I'm when I'm together, I can walk so we get extra turns, but I can't boost health or shield. Unfortunately. I can can I hit from there? I can. Alright, let's hit. I was gonna shield, but I thought. Hitting's good at this point. Um, oh, that's the battle. I'll do the battle as soon as I finish this battle. Alright, that's good. Um, it's end turn. Good, it's leaping, and I shot it in the air. Sucker. Guys, regenerating. Gotcha. Oh, do I? Oh, where's my other turn? I thought I got another turn. No, I'm right in the middle there. That's not good. Um, it's all right. I'll save you. No, not really. But I tried. Um. Alright, so that one's dead. One down. Two to go. What? What? They brought reinforcements. Alright, fine. If it's good. Brought reinforcements, eh? Let's pause. Let's pause. Well, um, we'll do the battle. I thought I thought I could finish them off, but if they're gonna have more, then we'll switch over. We'll do the Stream Raiders battle. There we go. Bit of haste. The heavyweight champion of the world, Nature Boy. <laughs> Nature Boy um, we'll give away a game key after this one. So we've only got a few names in there. Uh, what do we got? We got Adam, Georgia, Cold Delio. If you want to win a game key um, for the Head of Merlin, the game I'm playing right now, just make sure you join in chat. If sleeping has work at 6 a.m., it's all right. 6 a.m., my goodness. Should have left the computer on for you so you could go, exclamation mark, join. I think he'd like playing this game. Three thirty a.m. there. Ooh. <laughs> Early in the morning. If you win, you're going to gift it to Ebbs. That's very nice. British Columbia, Canada. Well, that's true. Yeah, you could. Caps out with 34 kills. Look at that from go. Victory. I only got seven assists. Spoo. Adam and Georgia, well done. Is this the boss? It is. Let's do it. Let's do the boss. Um, for the boss, I'll put in a war beast. Right here. Georgia, don't stitch me up. Don't do it. Very good. There's the battle plan if you need it. And there's the link. Got half an hour to join us. If you want to put some troops in for the boss. Alright. Now. 
Let's see who's won the next game key. We got Adam, Georgia, Cold Elio. One out of three chance is pretty good. If anyone wants to join exclamation mark, join. Give you five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Cold Elio. Congratulations. Let me write your name down. I'll send that game key after stream. Congratulations, Mo. Thank you for the epic warrior. Rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> Let me restart that. So we'll give away one more key in an hour. It'll be the last game key for the night. So do exclamation mark join in chat. I'll take one too, please. Dre, well, you got to do an exclamation mark. Join. There you go. You're in for the next one. You're in for a shot. There's your names. Let me hide them. We'll bring them back up in an hour's time. All right, let's get back to the game. Let me transition over. Okay, there we go. Continue. Holy roll to 71. Oh, I forgot to do a spin, didn't I? 77. All right, we, we got to do it now. We got to do it. We have to. 77 is the one to beat. RJ's. I don't know what RJ's is, but Cadbury chocolate's delicious. You can't beat a classic stitch up, I reckon. Can't. I think Mo's won it with 77. Can anyone beat 77? Exclamation mark roll. Go once. On twice. Sold to Mo. Oh, Jack. You're close. If, if you beat Mo, I would have given you one as well. Just saying. Respin. How's that, Mo? You get two spins for the price of one. How good's that? Oh, there's some good ones. There's some good ones. Five hundred K. Congratulations. <laughs> the reroll. Potty, what did you get? 71. Oh, you were close. You were close that time. Thank you, Georgia. Uh, pause. Go. Ex boyfriend sent me a Pop Rock chocolate bar. It's from New Zealand. Best chocolate. Ever. Pop Rock? I don't know a Pop Rock chocolate bar. Yours is worse, Georgia. <laughs> Ebbs is in bed, otherwise I'm sure he'd give you one. Alright, let's move in here. Let's move in. Hey! Oi! Oh, he pushed me back. No, I need to get right in there. Oh no, look at the skulls. We gotta get out of the skulls. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's slash and move. We gotta slash and move. Slash and move. And get out of there. Oh, I can't get out. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad for Bruno. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Kill that at least. I did. Alright. It's gone. Good. Um No. We'll leave you there. We'll leave you there. Morgan. Morgan needs to do something. You need to do something, mate. You need to protect. Protect. Shield. I can't hit anyone. All right, give him some armor. There we go. Heal. All right, whatever happens, I think you'll be okay. Lucy, jump. Oh, 
Yes. Get it. Miss. I missed. Okay, I got that one. I got that one. Oh, man. They just spawning more stuff. That's not cool. That is not cool. Uh, bash. No, I need to move first. I can't move there? How can I move? Am I blocked? I think I am. Oh, this is not good. Alright, let's just... Shoot this one. Torismo! Enjoy your noms. Georgia, thank you for the epic berserker. Alright, it's going down. It's going down. Good. Okay, so that's one taken care of. What? Oh, the cockatrice. This is such a stitcher. Can I move now? Cannot move there. Cannot move there. I think I'm just destined to stand here, unfortunately. End turn. Hopefully I can move next turn. Oh, it's flying. Oh, what? How far did it just fly? Oh my goodness. Where? Yes, I can move. Rejoice. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Gotcha. There we go. Now we get extra actions. Shoot again. Ah. Uh, that. Can I heal myself? I can. That's good. That's good. Who can I hit with this? I can't. I can't hit it. Damn. All right. More armor, please. Okay. Where can I move? There we go. And I can move... Here. I think everything is super promising now. I think we're okay. It's a bit iffy. As long as they don't spawn too many more. Oh, and there's skulls. I unlocked a hero. In a single skirmish, restore at least 20 points of armor between all your heroes. I like unlocking heroes. Got it. Move back. Cool. Shoot it. I missed. Gotta stop missing. Yo. Morgan, you're up, mate. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Forty percent chance of hitting. Come on. <laughs> I miss. I missed again. I know, Dreidel. Uh, wait, no, don't end for a sec. I think I can heal again. I can. You need some healing, mate. There we go. End turn. It's hard to see where to go. Like, where can I stand to get a hit here? Nah. That did not work. Is it there? Nah. It's hard to see because of this rock. 
I will. I'll win. I'll win. Uh, let's go right next to it. Bring it on. There we go. I hit it. Let's run back. <laughs> End turn. Jump down the shit box. Goodness. Um, get there. Flash. Good. And a bash. Slash and bash. Here we go. Should have, shouldn't have jumped out from those rocks. That was your downfall. Should have stayed there. Should have stayed there. Victory! Huzzah! Finally, the battle is over. The abominations are dead. And Ronsabu Pass has not fallen to the enemy. If there is a future, this day will be remembered in song. Prison can own me. Adventure. And if there is none, you will face to end with pride. Filthy, Filthy rat. rat. You shall be exterminated. <laughs> the battle may have been won, but your feeling of triumph takes on a bitter note when you realize that you are the only ones left standing. You had Merlin by your side. None of the others did. And yet they fought without sorcery and secret knowledge. And without their sacrifice, you too would have perished. Damn. We're going to the next area. What did we unlock? Cockatrice. Look at it. This grotesque chimera is deceptive. Having little physical strength of its own, its true danger lies in that its loathsome presence seems to rally and invigorate other abominations. Furthermore, those who strike at its nauseating form may reveal their vulnerabilities to the enemy. Okay, let's journey to Al Andalus. New area. Here we go. Achievement unlocked. Reconquista in Saragossa. You have come to Al Andalus, a rich and powerful land ruled by Emir Abd al Rahman, Ibn al Hakim al Mursi. Now let's call him Emir for short, please. Known in the north as King Marsilius. There you go. A land of scholars and poets, though the war against Charlemagne and Galahad has brought forth harsh qualities. By the time you descend from the mountains of the Marca Hispanica to the plains of Al Andalus, the story of the heroes of Roncevo Pass has already begun to spread, and such a story of hope is dearly needed, for now the cataclysm grows stronger than ever before. The world has changed since you set out from Camilla. The cataclysm has now infected the entire Vale, and reality itself is beginning to fray. The grail whirs and groans in the strangest ways as invisible en energies tear at it. All you can do is put your faith in Merlin. Fame city of Saragossa has been the site of many battles, but none so fierce as the siege against the stream of abominations that almost reduced its wall to rubble. Without the victory at Ronsavu Pass, it would not have stood, and so it is that a delegation has been sent to meet you. Let's meet them. The leader of the delegation is said to be the wisest of Emir al Mercy's knights. His name is Barakat in Baram al Abyad. In the songs of the troubadours, he is called Blankendrin. What's Trent? You reckon Trent's out here? Peace be upon you, he says solemnly. Truly, peace is now our greatest desire. I've spent many years trying to convince my lord that Albion need not be our enemy. But King Galahad has made that task most difficult. Let's follow him. Oh, itchy eye. Blankendrin and the delegation escort you to the city of Saragossa, a beautiful city transformed into a bleak fortress by the ravages of endless war. We are used to suffering here in Saragossa. 
Blank and June says sadly. I will have a servant fetch you as physician. You have sacrificed much for us. Yes! Plus 10 health. Give it to me. I hope that your victory at Ronsevu Pass can be the beginning of the end of war. A symbol that we are all children of God. Blankadrin says as the physician binds your wounds. But I understand that your quest is to reach the Holy Land. I recommend that you head to Mercia and there take a ship. Blacksmith? Let's upgrade Morgan's. Uh, Morgan's... Ah? That'll do. Cool. Um, ask him about Albion. Blankendrin sighs. Many think of it as a barbaric place, and its people as cruel invaders who would destroy our culture. They forget our ancestors invaded this place themselves, and there is no land without such a history. Still, I will admit it is hard to understand King Galahad's hatred of our faith. <laughs> red, there's the red. <laughs> uh, ask him about Mercia. It was meant to be the jewel of Al Andalus, Blankendrin says. Perhaps even a new capital. That's why they call him Al Mercy, you see. He is of that city as it is of him. The war against Charlemagne and Galahad has been costly, however, and it has diverted much of the Amir's attention away from this beloved city. Well, let's ask him about Amir. Blankendrin considers his words. He was not born a man of war, he says. He would, by inclination, choose the quill over the sword, but he has had no choice that has hardened him, and by consequence, his realm also. Alright. Where are we? We're there. Where do we want to go? Arcane node? There's a city down there. Unusual temple. Another arcane node. Bounce of time. Uh, there's a city there as well. I don't want that arcane node. We'll go there. Across the river. You come across a broad river. The water flows lazily, but its brown green color makes it hard to guess at the river's true depth. While there is no bridge in sight, there is a ferryman who is willing to take you across. Or by your weapons and armor, the man readily offers to take you across for free. But for the entirety of the journey, he watches you wide-eyed and anxious, seemingly eager to talk to you. I think, the man says hesitantly, I know who you are. And then tell of a group of great heroes that have come to save us from these abominations. He wrings his tanned and lined hands nervously. Tell me, is it you I heard about? Yes. Thought so, he murmurs, almost too quiet to hear. Then I am doubly glad that I am helping you across. It seems that he would like to say more, but you have now come close enough to the shore to see that a battle is raging near the dock. Berryman pales. Forgive me, but I cannot dock there, not for all the gold and all the honor in this land. Jump off and swim to, sh to shore. Draw minus one action points per turn. Expires losing all stacks after. Oh, expires after one fight. Tell the ferryman to avoid this dock. So I'll lose five for now. See what that does. The ferryman stops rowing and lets the current take the boat. Those poor people, the man says, and you think you see a tear glaring in the corner of his eye. Oh, so I can't save the people? Oh, shit. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. No! You have left the people of the town to their fate, and if you, if any, will survive the carnage that you have witnessed, but by sacrificing them, you stand a chance to save this realm. And if you regard it like that, it really is no choice at all. Oh, I could have, I could have fought them. I just didn't want to be lethargic. Oops. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. No, 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 no. The Raging River. Although you have been traveling through dry and sun-scorched land so far, your journey leads you to a river. You have seen broader streams in Albion and the Masa Hispanica, but this one flows swiftly and appears too deep to cross on foot. The road ends at the bank. 
cut off sharply as though with a knife, and you see the remains of a bridge poking out from the throbbing waters. A little ways upstream, you see a boat drawn up on the shore, and a small group of people gathered around it. Let's go to the boat. Oh, there's a slight cooldown. A group of road-weary people are standing near the boat, arguing with a stout fisherman of maybe 30 years. The last time, he growls as you approach, I will not take you across. The current is too swift, and my life too precious to risk it for what measly food you offer. There's a crossing a few miles east. You might try your luck there. Go to the crossing, advances the corruption. Offering gold, attempt to negotiate, try to intimidate. Let's try to intimidate. All right, two out of three chance, come on. I think we've been pretty lucky. <laughs> Down the middle. Let's do it again. Yes. Bruno steps forward, crowding the unpleasant man against the raging river. I wonder, he says almost idly, if we could swim across. You think I should throw this fellow in? See how he fares? The fisherman blanches. My lord, he stutters. Don't, I beg you. I'll take you in my boat. Continue. Good work, Bruno. The arcade third. One morning, you were surprised to discover a large castle on the horizon, which did not seem to be there before. It is of fantastical design with tall towers and flying buttresses. Though the land is dry and the sky is blue, a mist seems to hang around it. Let's approach the castle. You find yourselves in a long and winding corridor, its floor of alabaster and its walls overlaid with gold, which passes by many splendid rooms. In the first room, a sumptuous meal is laid out on the table, carved into the shape of a turtle. Ooh, let's take the food. The moment you touch the food, there is a flash of light, and the entire castle disappears, leaving you standing on a dusty hill. Smell of the food lingers for a moment, and then that too is gone. Oh, no! Look, I lose the food! Got too greedy. It's too greedy. Damn. Ah, <laughs> uh, where do we want to go? Heroic node? Uh, there's a city down there too. And another arcade node. Okay, let's go that way. Oh, I gotta go this one first. Without supplies, the journey is hard. Every day you grow weaker. Each hero takes one point of damage. Oh, look how hungry you are. Oh, shit. Hopefully we can get some food here. As you pass by a large group of refugees looking for shelter in a nearby town, you hear a man cry out for help. Then a younger voice answers him irritably, urging him to keep walking. But as the group continues, you see the old man left behind, groping around on his knees as if looking for something. Let's speak to the old man. Please, strangers, I beg of you, help me find my reading stone, he rasps. It is my most precious possession. Made by Abbas in Infernus himself. Without it, I cannot read. My foolish nephew told me to leave it. But what is life without reading? Ah, if only my son was here, he would understand. The ground is covered in pebbles and detritus left behind. Left behind by the fleeing refugees. Finding a translucent lens might prove difficult and waste much time. Let's, we, we gotta look. We gotta help him. Let's look for the reading stone. It's only 33%. Shit. Oh, come on. Come on. We gotta find this. Find it for the old man. Find it for the old man. Down the middle. Down the middle. Yes! <laughs> After searching for a long time, one of you suddenly spies the stone. Luckily, it is unscratched. The old man is delighted. Thank you, strangers. You've done a great good for me. I do not have anything to pay you with, but know that good deeds are rewarded tenfold. Smiling, he hobbles off in the direction the other refugees went. We did it. Lucky. Lucky I didn't listen to you, George. <laughs> All right. Heroic node. Let's do it. I know. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Hungry in real life, too. I didn't have dinner. I had that chicken wrap you brought me there this afternoon, Georgia. Delicious. Late one night, tired from a long day of travel across the dusty plains, you enter a large military encampment. Here you are surprised by the boisterous revelry of the soldiers, which belies the grim circumstances of the war against the cataclysm. 
Who knew you discovered that this camp belongs to a nephew of the Emir? A strange, flighty young man who has adopted the foreign name Prince Elroth, much to his family's chagrin. You had pasta? Delicious. Believe it or not, I had pasta. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Before long, you are recognized as the heroes of Ronsabu Pass, said to have killed a thousand demons each, and Prince Alrop insists on speaking to you. He sits on a large pile of carpets, his face painted blue and red, surrounded by women dressed only in silken scarves. You must tell me all about the Battle of Ronsabu Pass, he says. Tell me everything and spare no details. Acts of heroism, depraved violence, I want to hear it all. Let's embellish the tale just a little. A little embellishment doesn't hurt. Prince Elroth enjoys your tale, though he seems a little underwhelmed. I expected more drama, he remarks. But I suppose you are warriors in a blunt sort. Very well, you may spend the night here, heroes, and I grant you the services of my master blacksmith. Ah, uh, blacksmith, do you have food? <laughs> no food. Sleep and continue in the morning. Oh, if I... If I had exaggerated, you might have given me some food. Um, we want to go to the city. We need to go to the city. Let's go. I know. I'm hungry. Oh, we're going to a city. It's okay. Oh, I'll take the long path. Shit. Uh-oh. In a small caravanus... Caravanserai. In a small caravanserai, a damsel tells you the legend of the lost treasure of the desert. They say a vicious bandit left a treasure chest full of gold in the wasteland, she says. There are two paths that lead to it. One is short and full of dangers, the other long and arduous. My father drew me a map of these paths, which I'll gladly share with the heroes of Rontemoo Pass. All right, take the short path. The more you advance in this maze of rocks under the scorching sun, the more you realize why the treasure remains unfound. The further your profound sense of unease, you find increasing evidence of the corruption that is threatening these lands, tainting the red rock and sandy ground more and more with each passing step. You're on the cusp of turning back when you stumble across an open stretch of ground and then discover what surely is the fabled treasure chest. Alright, search for tracks. Merwin holds up her hand, begging for silence lest you inadvertently trigger a trap, and begins to search the ground. At first she seems to find nothing. And then she draws her weapon. We are not alone, Merwin says softly. Hey yourselves, I feel bad it's but it's worse. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? We're not ready for battle, we're hungry. Okay. Can I lunge at this one? I can. Oh, why didn't I hit it? I didn't hit it. Shit. I can't hit it. Um, I go like that. Can I hit it now? I can. Yes. I know, we need food. We need food badly. Hopefully we get some food by beating these things. Uh, and I'll use my... Dang it. Um... Go on this side. Can I hit you? Yeah. Don't miss. Yes. Sandwich? Go sandwich. Oh, I didn't see that one. Holy shit. She will Alex. Thank you for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're weak and slow now, aren't ya? Yes, shoot them all. Oh, now I'm being surrounded. Um, if I move here and cleave, I should, I should hit two of them. Yep, yeah, hit two of them. Good. Oh, that's the battle. All right, let me move and hit those two. Out of turn, Stitcher. All right, let's do uh, let's do the battle. 
There we go. With a haste. Scream Raiders. There you go. Like have fun. Yeah, do what Georgia did. Exclamation mark roll. The person with the highest number can spin the wheel. Ba, 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 ba. See, I see the video. I'll watch that after. And what's the game unit? I'll be fun with a group. Barrow Trauma. I'll have to watch that. I'll have to watch that after as well. Nice. Nice. Uh, victory. Well done. Well done, everyone. It's a tie so far. Ooh. It's a joke. A joke, I tell you. Who's in between? Adam and Tribbles? If no one can beat 56, they both get one. How about that? How about that? Two winners, Potty and Georgia. Well done. Boss defeated. I hope you get something good out of the boss chest. Uh, which way do we want to go? Top. Okay. I demand a revolt! <laughs> uh, what do I need to put in? I think I'll just put in an archer. There we go. There's a battle plan if you need it. Cool. Half an hour. Gonna join in for that one. Dreidel! No respin, Dreidel. Nice try though. <laughs> Alright. I think that I think that's it. 56 dribbles. It was Adam, wasn't it? Let me scroll up. Adam. Alright. Adam and Tribbles. <laughs> Georgia, thank you for the epic flying rogue. Adam, you're up first. It was a nice try though, Dreadle. Cole, welcome back. The heavyweight champion of the world, Nature Boy. Nature Boy. <laughs> We're coming right back. 250k for Adam. And this one's for you, Tribbles. Oh my god, it was there. Look how close that was. Tribbles! <laughs> 500k! You're putting it all on the line! Look, it's right there. It's right there. It was three off. <laughs> uh, thank you, Georgia. And then after the next battle, we'll give away the last game key, uh, which, let me see. Yeah, there's a few in there. Potty, Adam, Dreidel, Georgia. If you haven't joined yet, exclamation mark join in chat. Uh, let me get back to the game. So close. So close. All right, where are we? What's going on here? Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Uh, no, not that one. Can I get in there? No, it's going to cost me too many. Can I just... Throw this then. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that one's done. And I'm running away. There we go. You are. You are dragon. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check for you. You can do it. If you do it again, it doesn't hurt though. If you do an exclamation mark join twice, it doesn't matter. You're still top 10, buddy. Nice. I can't cleave again, but I can batch this into a rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, you 
want some more, do you? Like this. It's still alive somehow. Yep. Can I use this horn? Nah, no charges left. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna heal. Brunor. And then preemptive vigil. Nice. Morgan, you're up, mate. You're up. Uh, actually, no, not that. Let's move back here. And we can kill one. Yeah. One down. Do the go. And I might move her back. Uh, maybe over here. Yes! Oh no, it's gone for Morgan! Oh! Leave Morgan alone! Nice. Uh, move there. And shoot. This should do it. This should do it. This should do it. Thank you, Mo. Need it today, it's warm. Victory! Oh, look at all the gold. The battle is done and the abominations are destroyed, as they must be. All that remains for you is to collect the gold from the chest and resume your quest. That rhymed. Bing. That tomorrow will be less bloody than today. 179 gold. Oh yeah, rub it in. Just for a change? Yeah, just for a change. It doesn't sound like Scotland at all. And Mo did. Mo did. <laughs> it's red. Red. Alright, to the city. We can finally get some food. The city of Astorga has a curious history. Once known as Asturica Augusta, it was nearly destroyed in the war between Emperor Lucius and Abd al-Rahman, the first, before the former was overthrown by Arthur. Then it was left abandoned for years and the land became known as the Desert of the Duro. It was only under the lordship of Yaska al-Astorgi, known in the north as Esturgant the Exile, who was born in the city before its demise that it was repopulated. Well done, doggo. Oh. Is that Caldelio's doggo changing it to purple? They're red and blue. That's a nice compromise. It's very nice. As long as it's not pink. Al Storgi has transformed his small but proud city into a port. The old Roman walls have been reinforced and soldiers are everywhere. There's a feeling of quiet defiance in the air. Cold! <laughs> <laughs> I have to do it manually. Uh, it might go black for a second. There we go. I know why it doesn't work. It's weird. I don't know why. But there you go. Mo hates it, but there you go. I'm going to have to try and fix it again. I thought, like, deleting it, putting it back, might fix it. It's weird that it's the only one that doesn't work. I'll have to look into it. Um, El Storgi has transformed his small but proud city into a fort. The old Roman walls have been reinforced and soldiers are everywhere. There is a feeling of quiet defiance in the air. It does, Mo. It agrees with you. It agrees. Sam, thank you for the epic flag bearer. Uh, let's go to the marketplace. Trade supplies. Buy supplies. Give me all the supplies. Give it to me. Uh, let's have 12 food. 12 food. Return. Uh, not relic shop. Return to the main street. Let's request an audience with Alice Storgi. How dare you. How dare you. I love it. Alice Storgi is pleased to receive the heroes of Roncevu Pass. 
Word of your exploits has reached us even here in Astorga, he says. Without you, surely everyone in Saragossa would have died. Therefore, as a token of our gratitude, let me present you with this ancient vial, which is said to contain the power of sorcery itself. Blue. It's back to blue. Alistor, he laughs. <laughs> Don't thank me, please. The battles you have fought make my own look like child's play. I should be sharing you in treasure and preparing feasts and celebrations for you. Okay, do it. Do it. Where's the option for do it? Uh, uh visit a healer? Let's get a bit of healing done. Nice. Retire for the day. You retire to the Bunduk of the Western Well. Gather your strength for the journey ahead. Is that a wild Percy? Oh no, it's Lucy. <laughs> Aww. No, I still love you, but I thought it was Percy. Percy is the one that normally, like, hangs around my legs. Yeah! <laughs> Something really important while the, the lights get changed. Okay, no time. Let's go. The Twisted Maze. One morning you were woken by a tolling bell to find yourself surrounded by a maze like warren of alien growths. Red haired damsel sits by your fire. This disconsolate. <laughs> you guys. I have hidden the stars, she says. In this darkness, I cannot see the paths of the doors. I am trapped. Escape the maze. Oh, 25% and one food. Wow, path of decay, path of blisters, the path of rot, unbroken path. All right. Oh, man. All right, I need help. One, two, three, or four. Where's the unbroken path? Please lead, lead me. Lead me to the unbroken path. Please chat. The pressure, I know, I know, but I need your help. They all sound like paths I wouldn't want to take. I know. <laughs> You're all saying different paths. You're all saying different numbers. All right. Well, you haven't said one. Are you say in a roundabout way, are you saying pick one because no one chose one? Thank you, chat. <laughs> we did it. We did it. At last, you find a small part of the maze that still bears its original form. The walls are made of intertwined olive trees hung with silver chains. On the chains, a story is inscribed, but you do not have the time to read it. The damsel is so delighted to be free that she begins to dance. As she does so, you feel power emanating from her body, and the growl produces a sound almost like music. Then after turning one last time to grin at you, she disappears. Let's continue. Welcome back, Georgia. <laughs> you missed it. We did it. It was all thanks to chat. The gem merchant. The path you find yourselves on winds through a dense forest filled with ancient trees and craggy rocks. Weak sunlight slants through the foliage, but instead of comfort, the sickly greenish light brings a faint sense of unease with it. You can just about see the edge of the woods and look forward to leaving this eerie place behind when you hear a voice calling to you from behind one of the large rocks. Hello? Are you human? Boots was having a moment. What happened to Boots? Yeah, but it worked, Mo. Was that not your plan all along? I'm on to you. Yes, let's confirm we're human. After a brief pause, a man steps out onto the path. Ah, how fortunate I am to meet fellow humans in this inhospitable lands. I was told that Alan Dallas was a strange and dangerous place. But it seems even my wildest imagination could not do it justice. It gives you a measuring look. 
that seems that perhaps we can be of service to each other. Scribbles, are you not human? Oh, you are. Ah, most definitely. I read that wrong. Of course you're human. <laughs> How rude of me. Jake Yolo, thank you for the follow. Ah, oh, she's just need. Yeah, yeah. Give her attention. Give her all the attention. Don't even give me any attention. Just give it all the boots. Boots is uh, George's cat, by the way. Jake with the bonk. Coming in with the follow, then the bonk. <laughs> okay, bye. Stay high the boots for me. Yeah, mate. Oh, it's from Katie Cat. I love Katie Cat. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Katie's streaming. Is she not? She was playing Phasmo tonight, I think. I was going to go check it out. Welcome in. What's this guy saying? My name is Umar Im Ahmed Im Yusef Al Aswani. I am a purveyor of gemstones and ivory from Egypt. He looks around nervously. It seems that I have underestimated the dangers of these lands, for my guard was torn apart by unspeakable creatures not two days ago. And I've been living in terror ever since. Perhaps I might hire you in their stead. Ask him what he wants. With my guard gone, I am completely at the mercy of robbers and brigands, not to mention likely to meet the same grisly fates as my poor escort. I should like to hire you to bring me to the nearest settlement which lies just beyond these hills, where I can sell some of my wares and perhaps hire a more permanent entourage. For no doubt you have grander things to do, but I compensate you well for your service. Hello. Pasmo fries you. You bought it the other day? We have to play Cold. I haven't played the new content yet. You've never played it, Mo? Okay, Mo, you're in as well. George, George is in. <laughs> George did tell it goes, yeah, I've got it. I've got it recorded. There's a clip of it. <laughs> no idea what to do? We can teach you. You just go, you gotta find out. You gotta try and get the uh, the clues for the ghost. Is he? You cutie. How are you? Oh, what's going on? I'm doing well. I am playing the Hand of Merlin for the first time. Thanks to Versus Evil tonight. We are giving away a, a game key. We've got one more game key left. If anyone's just come in, would like to try and win, exclamation mark join. We will be drawing it after the next stream raiders battle, which is in like 10 minutes or so. Phasmo is a big no-no. <laughs> I enjoyed watching you play um, Animal Crossing, Izzy. I've only just started playing myself. Getting right into it. You're right. Why are you so needy tonight? Do love Animal Crossing. <laughs> it is good fun. I'm not addicted at all. At all. That's right. I just gotta find some good turnip prices. But I'm not addicted. <laughs> Can you sit like that while I play? Is that okay? All right, let's agree to his terms. Excellent. Umar claps his hands in delight. Let's just imagine I've got two hands free. Clap, claps his hands in delight. You will not regret this. The merchant briefly scurries off behind the rock, only to return leading two mules carrying heavy wooden chests. Oh, where are you going? Okay. Okay. Oh, you want to sit there? You Oh, let me just move everything. There we go. Which way shall we go? My guard said that the path through the hills is swifter, but treacherous at this time of the year. While going around would take a lot more time, but I'm a stranger here and I shall defer to your judgment. I don't think danger's a concern. I think we're sweet. Go through the hills. The hills are steep and you can see how the narrow path might be dangerous for man and beast alike, should the weather take a turn. As it is, the sun smiles down upon you and you arrive at the other side of the hills much more swiftly than if you had taken the long way around. At the foot of the hills, you see a small settlement, just as Umar said. Oh, we lucked out. We did well. Thank you, the merchant says as you approach the gates. And here is your coin as promised. Or perhaps you will prefer a gem. 
I'm told this one has magical properties, though to me it seems like an ordinary gem, and not a very valuable one at that. What do the gems do? Mana. Fragments of Merlin's power used for cast- Oh, they're the spells! Yeah, definitely get the gem. I need them. I didn't realize I was using up gems. Oh shit. Thank you again, friends, Umar says, and good luck on your quest. May you arrive safely and accomplish your task. Inshallah. Sweet. Unusual temple. The Forge of Orpheus. In the distance, Merlin's spirit senses a place of great power. Forge of Orpheus, where the great enchanter harnessed the hidden powers of the cosmos to create his artifact. Let's seek out the forge. The great circular temple that houses the forge is unlike anything else you have seen on your journeys. It appears to be Roman in design, but it seems untouched by time. One could almost expect Cicero or Livy to come strolling from it. I don't know who that is. Discussing the history of the Republic. Still, there is something strange about this place you cannot quite make sense of, as if it did not quite belong where it stands. Enter. The forge is a vast device of glass and steel, its limbs stretching all throughout the temple, whose workings only a sorcerer can understand. Through Merlin you sense that there are three seals that may be open. Each will absorb some of Merlin's energy and conduct it into the furnace where an artifact will be created. Ooh. Here I do the punchy rock. Catch that punchy rock. Get it. Open the first seal, open the second seal, open the third seal. All right, let's open the first seal. It's gonna cost me a gem. You open one of the seals and feel the forge drain Merlin's energy. The growl briefly to resist, but Merlin commands it to allow the energy to flow. Ah, all right, open the second seal. You open another seal and more energy flows into the forge. Its glass segments begin to glow brightly and a growl erupts deep in its belly. Open the third seal. The forge roars as the sorcerer's energy is contained within the transmuted. Clouds of black smoke seem to move through it and for an instance you see a bright fire erupt within a rotating sphere of translucent metal. Examine the result. An aperture opens, revealing the newly made artifact. A bleeding lance. Apply three stacks of bleeding to an enemy. Take three health damage each turn. Ooh, I like that. You waiting for the day a beedrill pops up? I don't think I've seen a beedrill. Yeah. There's so many. There's so many. I haven't seen a Bulbasaur. Have you got a Bulbasaur? You take the artifact, sensing the power vibrating within it. I'm wondering how much more an accomplished craftsman like Orpheus could accomplish with this machine. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Can I give that? I don't really care for take no damage for ground effects. I want to make people bleed. Very nice. Uh, regular node, regular node. Two, two, one, one. Let's go to dangerous path, eh? Get some more stuff. It's been a long day and you are tired. Not only physically tired, but also spiritually. You're weary of seeing the glory of Al and Dulles crumbling around you. A civilization torn down by mindless barbarism. Therefore, when you are suddenly ambushed by a pack of abominations, you are filled with anger at what the cataclysm is doing to this land. Party gains tired, shit. Minus one move, minus one max armor. Name. No, not yet. At least you caught the Geo, dude. Oh man. There's two Thorn Toads. At least they're moving to me. Yeah, come closer. Please come closer. That's fantastic, actually. Um. There. Oh, I was trying not to hit Morgan. I still hit him. <laughs> uh, let's make the Thorn Toad bleed. Oh, I can't. Why can't I? I can make that Thorn Toad. Oh, it must be a throwing thing. It is. Okay. Well, now you're bleeding. Fucker. Oh! 
Oh shit, I didn't realize that. That didn't do that last time. So my multi-shot hits my guys as well. Oops. Sorry, that was... My bad. Alright, Morgan. Show us what you're made of. Nice, I like it. 40% hit rate, come on. I missed. I missed. Uh, let's make him stagger as well. There we go. I think we'll win. It's just hard with these frogs. The frogs have thick skin and they don't take much damage. George, thank you for the epic artillery. Are you putting the epic right before it ends? How long to go? Not long, I don't think. Okay. Let's lunge. Now lunge. Yeah, I'll get it. Let's go there. Nice. Um, I can hit it from here. No, I can't. I need to move. I need to move back. And shoot it. Six minutes. Ah, oh, sweet. You got enough time to do another one. Um, let's move back. do exclamation mark spin if you want to gamble your money you can do spin heist steal is another one uh-oh uh-oh there's lots of skulls on the ground and i don't like it uh can i hit this guy for me nice and bash. Cool. Uh, I need you to get out of there, young lady. And shoot the toad. Oh, I hit Morgan. I didn't mean to hit Morgan. What? Stitch up. Morgan, get out of there. There we go. That's good. That's good. Nice. Uh, and... Turn. Ooh, nice and blue in here. Whoa, shit! get Morgan out of there. Morgan, get out of there, mate. Get out. Get right out. That way. There we go. Uh, you do the same over there, but then you turn around and you shoot him. How is that one still alive? Oh, no, they bo are they both dead? No, that one's still alive. And a level up. Alright. Level up. Let's increase. Yeah, the lunge. The lunge was good. Um, gain 2 AP if it's lethal. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, uh, um, yeah, Bolly. Bolly will now deal in a larger area. Nice. And I do this one more often, which gives more armor points and makes them powerful. I like that. Okay, that's good. Uh, regular note. Let's go. Three Sarakin warriors are sitting by the side of the road, bleeding from countless small cuts, but too exhausted to do anything about their predicament. 
Behind them, the veil throbs feverishly as a veritable forest of thorny vines expands in all directions. Offer help! Though each of these injuries is harmless by itself, in accumulation they pose a grave danger. To properly heal, the men will need to rest for many days, but Morgan ensures that they will at least be able to travel. The men, though still shaken by their ordeal, are very grateful and insist on sharing some of their supplies with you. Yes, we got food! Four. Oh. Oh. Uh, let's do the arcane, though. We need more crystals. Passing through a village, you hear a rumor that the Temple of Jupiter has been seen nearby. This strange temple is said to vanish and reappear in different locations all across the land. Many believe it to be the dwelling place of the mighty sorcerer Siglarel, who is said to have seen hell with his own eyes. Look for the temple. With Merlin's spirit guiding you, you find the temple with ease. It's an odd structure, more a conglomeration of buildings built into and on top of one another. The outer edges of this strange edifice are crumbling, and it seems a pack of abominations has found its way in. Oh boy. What? 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 Where are you? Oh, you're on cooldown. <laughs> it's like, nope. There you go. Wow, the enemies are getting a bit tougher, aren't they? My goodness. Um, alright, let's make this bleed. Oh, I can't yet. Shit. Um, alright, move forward. Still can't make that one bleed. Do I have to get even closer? I gotta get even closer, but then. I move there. Bleed. Alright. Uh, there. Ooh, the battle. Alright. Let's do the battle. Um. Bit of haste. Start battle. And I'll put the names up. So everyone there has already entered. We're gonna give our last game key away after this battle. Um, so do exclamation mark join in chat if you haven't already, if you wanna win one of those game keys. I think we're pretty close to uh like the end of this map, so I might even like try and finish the end of this map. What we lose? I thought there was a given. What happened? Georgian, you huge, and you couldn't carry us. Why couldn't you carry us? <laughs> oh, no. All of yours were wiped out? Oh, no. Starting your map it was only the start. It was only the first one. Um, I can upgrade. Specialize? What does that mean? What does specialize mean? I've never done that before. Have you guys seen specialize? Oh, my goodness. What is that? Specialized. Hold the phone. Oh, Cole, don't cry. A grand monk, a combat support unit that heals nearby allies over a larger area while fighting. Hmm. Mighty monk, a combat support unit that heals nearby allies while fighting and deals 50% extra damage to armored units. Martyr Monk, a combat support unit that heals nearby allies while fighting and heals nearby allies 50 HP on death. Oh my goodness, it's level 19, so I think I specialize it into level 20. Should I just have the larger area? A larger area one or 50 HP on death? I feel like, am I going to die? <laughs> um... What do you reckon? Grand Monk? Mighty Monk? Martyr Monk? I'm leaning towards Grand Monk. 
Martha, you want me to die? You want me to die, Mo? <laughs> For the greater good. Oh, the name's hilarious. Yeah, Martha Monk. Martha Monk. There's Sumo. Alright. I'm gonna go green. I'm gonna go green, Monk. I think it'll be better for the sword. Upgrade and specialize. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can upgrade it again. How did I get so many monk scrolls? What happened? What happened? Die Blakey die? No, it's die happy die. Die happy die. <laughs> Level 23 grand monk. Look at me go. Uh, collect. What's my next? Get two units level 20. My goodness. Where's Merlin going? Merlin's going well. I'm enjoying it. I'm about to finish the third area, I think, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, we got we to gotta beat the first level at least. All right, I'm going to put in my Grand Monk. Do I have a different skin? I do not. Okay, well, I'm putting in my Blue Monk. There he is. There we go. I'm giving away a game key, Sumo, if you haven't joined already, exclamation mark join. It's the last game key in the night. So uh, you can could, you could win your own game key for the Hand of Merlin. Thanks to Versus Evil. You can experience it for yourself. I'm gonna draw it right now. If you haven't joined yet, you got five seconds. You got five, four, three, two, one. Cold, cold, cold. Hang on a sec. You already won one. <laughs> you already won one. All right, restart. <laughs> get new winner. Now <laughs> you get one. Adam. Oh, were you gone? Maybe. <laughs> but you bought one already, which I'll send after stream. No, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You missed it. That's okay. I'll buy you. A, I'll buy you a copy and send it to you. And if only if you can record it so I can watch. <laughs> no cold. You can never be banished. Congratulations to all the winners. Well done, well done. I'll send them out after stream. Thank you to Versus Evil for the game keys. Let me just quickly change that because now they're all done. They're all gone. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go back to the game. Let's finish this battle and see where we are. He's throwing the PC out the window. <laughs> you want to avoid it that much. All right, where are we? What are we doing? Where? Okay. I need to move a bit closer. Shoot that. All right. Blow the horn. They're all staggered. Cool. We're gonna shield us two right here. There we go. I don't like that guy. Oh my god, get away from me. He's huge! Oh, you have money! Very nice. Okay, okie doke. Can't go there? Why can't I go there? Let's go here. Oh, I shoot him. Rude. Okay, that's good. That's good. Nice. Um, run away for a sec. You need to run away. There we go. 
And Archer's Vigil, my favorite move. Uh, you can also run. You run over there. And can I shoot? Yes. Wow, that's got a lot of help. And a lot of armor. Oh, ouch. Oh my goodness. We need to take it out ASAP. ASAP! Oh boy. Um, how close can I get? How close? Can I make it bleed? No, nah, no charges left. Um... That's going to cost me two. That's one. Okay, that's good. One's good. Shoot it in the back. Shoot it in the butt. Four damage. Goodness. It just doesn't take much damage at all. I'm going to have to take it out as quick as I can. Um... Let's warp. It's warping time. So I could do an extra one. Nice. And nice. You've only got one though, so we'll end. Bruno has no ranged abilities. Little guys have become pests. You're a pest, mate. You're a pest. Alright. We're doing it. Going for the kill. 14 damage. That's good. That's what I wanted. And we're going to slash you. Alright. It should die. It should die now. Please die. There we go. Uh, I could also shoot you. Miss! Uh, I could shoot you. No valid targets. Okay, fine, I'll shoot you again. Miss! Oh my goodness. It is hiding behind that, I guess, but. Use four action points with a single character in one turn. Yeah, look at that achievement. Name for Togepi. What's a good name for a Togepi, people? Uh, I can't heal. I'm gonna have to... What's it at now? What's it... No, I can't. Can I hit you? 40%. Nah, let's move out. Move to the... Oh, no, that's a skull. Nah, move back. Move back. Boiled egg. Eggbert? Yeah. <laughs> Boiled egg. <laughs> oh, thank you. Looking after me. All right. I've got to think about this. I think you need some Armor. There you go. There you go. Big Bird is fab. <laughs> Can you come out fighting, please? Oh my god, so many skulls on the ground. Why? Why? There you go, it's out of hiding. Good. Good. Let's just get out of the skulls for the moment. Over there. Out of the skulls. Out we go. We can shoot him from here though. We can shoot him from here. Eggbird it is. Nice. <laughs> I like it. Stop missing. Go stop missing. Uh, stand there. Can I hit it from here? I can't. That's okay. 
we'll just, uh... Hit. Yep, put that there. And end turn. Make it come to us. <coughs> and owns a yacht. <laughs> hey, yeah, well, possibly. That sounds fancy. Alright, time to die. Time to die. Uh, I've got two, so I can move here. And do that. Nice, move into there. It's going to be close. Oh, it's close. It's close. It's close. There it is. Victory! Got some right now. Where's the food? Following the battle, he spent some time navigating the strange paths of the Temple of Jupiter, looking for an entrance to its inner circles. At last, you find a tall gate inlaid with spirals of emerald and aquamarine. You sense that only the power of a sorcerer can open the door. No, I don't have enough gems. Ah, oh, stitch up. Leave, fine, we'll leave. The city's corrupted. The city of Mercia, the jewel of the emirate, lies in the grip of the cataclysm. The veil is torn and something terrible is reaching into your world from beyond. The grail has been behaving strangely for some time, but the moment you step into Mercia, something terrifying happens and finally understand how wrong you were to think of the grail as a mere object. The grail unfolds. Green? Before your uncomprehending eyes, the grail uncoils into eight dimensions, a spiral, a spider, its appendages reaching into your souls. You scream in agony as it enters you, transforming you, becoming part of you. And yet, for all the pain, you know that you are becoming stronger. Without the abilities conferred upon you today, you could not succeed. March on. So the Holy Grail's just upgraded? Unlocks the use of a new spell. On use, choose a point in range in an area around it, expire the immortal buff in any pylons, clear all ground effects and deal 20 damage to any abominations. Holly, thank you for the epic archer. As the citizens of Mercia flee in terror, you prepare for battle. You're too close to your goal to surrender now. Hardy gains bear of the Holy Grail. When Abomination dies, gain one mana. When a pylon dies, restore 10 armor points and gain two charges to all applicable skills. All right, let's defend the city. Let's defend it. The Holy Grail is yours. When the Grail unfolds, it changes some properties. First, it allows the use of a new spell, Dimensional Restoration. The Grail is no longer equipable. equipable. Its effects, however, is felt by all your characters. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright. Clear all ground effects, so when those skulls pop up, I can do that, I think. That's cool. Alright, let's assess this battlefield. Oh, God. One, two. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? What is that? Well, I think we just uh, take this opportunity to heal, perhaps? I've only got one mana gem, so I can't even use that spell. Ditch up. Who needs the most help? Bruno. It's not much, but it's something. Uh, you want some armor? Yeah. Enjoy. I'll also give us this. Okay, um, just move there for now. 
that's going to cost two. Go there. I'm ready if they come anywhere near us. Alright. Let's dagger him. This is gonna be tough. I might lose this. Look how big that thing is, and I've got I've got no help. End turn. Rolling in the room. And it's summoning. It's summoning more enemies. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic. No worries, Carl. I'll take be here. And well done. I'll, I'll send it to you after stream. Have a good one. Bye, G. This is like my only saving grace, that move. I can like shoot them when they move. Um, okay. Not, not close enough for that. Ain't close enough for this. Alright, let's go. Cool. Can't even do that, can I? No, no valid targets. Shit. Okay. Um, alright, let's follow suit. No, stop shooting me. I'm feeling we're just gonna get to this thing and kill it. We gotta kill it as quick as we can. Uh, that. Nice. Get in there. Let's go get down to the wire. Oi, stop that. Why do you get so many times? It just went like three times. Three misses in a row. Oh, no tribbles. Oh boy. All right, I need to get out of here. So we're gonna bash this one, get it out of the way. Nice. Move as far as we can. Let's go. Go team, go. That way. I can't go any further? Shit. I thought that, oh, I couldn't evade that far. Okay, that's all right. I'll just shoot that, get out of here. And then you go there. Nice. Who needs armor? You do. Okay. Can I make you bleed? Why not? Why can't I make you bleed? Make you bleed? Nah, it's immortal. What do you mean it's mortal? What? You cannot be killed. Oh great. Restore five points of armor health each turn. Losing all stacks when targeted by dimensional restoration, but I don't have enough I don't have enough mana for that. Not enough mana. I wonder, do I get mana when I kill stuff? I must. Alright. New plan. Kill the little things. Shit, this is hard. Um uh, Okay. End turn. Don't die. Don't die. Ooh. Ouch. Nice. Missed. It missed. Oh, now that one's evading. Alright, they're all coming in the middle now. Please don't hit him, don't hit him again. Oh, he's dead. That's our first death. Oh, look at his little skull. Oh, Morgan. Morgan's dead. 
They just peeked on him though. They just kept hitting him. Oh no. Mirwin's panicking. No. Uh Okay. Into here. Did that do much? No. No, it did not. Okay. Uh, let's switch to Mirwin. Why can't I do anything with her? What's going on with her? She's panicking. Panicking means I can't do damage. Stop panicking, girl. No, now I'm panicking. This is not good. Oh, no, don't die. I need you. I need you. Oh, God. They're doing a lot of damage. Oh, there's stuff on the ground. Stuff on the ground. How am I going to get out of this one? I know! I know, Mo! Okay. Um... Did a little bit of damage there. I need to get out of there. And make it leave. Cool. Alright. Nice. That last hope. What what are you doing? Stop it. Stop doing what are you doing? Lost hope. What is lost hope? It's lost hope. Oh, oh no. Don't lose hope, buddy. Panicked. Why are you so panicked? Look, you did no damage because you're panicking. Stop panicking. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she's dead. This is not good. Okay. Who, which one's nearly dead? That one? Alright. Let's kill that one. Let's let's just get something. It attacked the wrong one. Uh uh Oh my god. Which one? Oh, it's over there. Okay, we can kill this. We can kill this. It's got one HP. One HP. It's got one HP. <laughs> Georgia, thank you for the epic warrior. Um, Heroes lost. Are they like dead? Gone forever? No way. Is that it? Game over? Brow lost. Your world is lost. Doomed to be consumed by the cataclysm. You feel Merlin's spirit abandoning you, seeking out other worlds. This is your end, but his struggle continues. Your journey failed in Al Andalus after 42 jumps and 15 battles. Your warband was ranked 6. You started with Bruno, Merwin, and Morgan. I lost all three of them in the end. Wow. I was at the end of that area. Wow. I acquired a lot of gold, not enough supplies, some renown, and not enough mana at all. I upgraded my equipment 12 times. I chose the Growl of Piety. Good decision? Bad decision? 
Wow. And look at all those enemies I defeated. I gained one fairy reputation. I don't remember doing that. When did I do that? Wow, what did I kill the most of? Wyverns. Those jerks. Wow, so even though I did story mode, past runs. Wow. So yeah, it, show, it shows my past run. So you gotta start all over again. <laughs> start all over again. And you probably get like new people because I've got, I unlocked new heroes on the way. Yeah, look, so I've got Zara, an infamous rogue and leader of bandits. She bows to no king or caliph and has little use for the law. I also got Wilfred, an ordinary man and a passing good soldier who saw too much of war. He wishes to fight neither Christians nor Saracens and desires only peace, but he'll fight for Merlin if it must be. You know, if I was going to do it again, could I go like... How do you... Oh. Yeah, it's just Bruno. Bruno. I wonder if I could mix them up. If I could have Bruno and the two rangers instead of taking Morgan, because let's be honest, Morgan didn't do much. Oh, Isabel. I got Isabel as well. A fierce hermitess. Hermitess? Who spent much of her life in the wilderness communing with the divine. Well, at least I unlocked some heroes. I like that. Pretty, pretty cool game overall. Pretty fun. I can't believe I died. The die just ended. No! Let's exit. Devastating. Devastating. Let me play some music. <laughs> we got to go on this. Uh... Three minutes. Three minutes. Easy. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. What'd you think? Did you enjoy it? Like, was it fun to watch? I enjoyed playing. Um, I'm also going to see, while we wait for this battle, I'm going to see if there's anyone online. We go raid. I had a few people in my head that I knew were on tonight already. I can go say hello to. Um... Oh, one person I thought was going to be on tonight. She was supposed to be. It was her... Was that tonight? Weird. Oh, no. I just saw. So it was Georgie's two-year anniversary tonight? It was a two-year stream anniversary, and she had to cancel it. There was like power outages. Oh no! Look at all my candy. Have I bought any of the skins? Skins. How do I buy them? Oh, store. What am I doing with my life, Georgia? What should I buy? What do I buy? Epic book artillery. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Epic Shadow Man Warrior? Oh, that's pretty cool. I've got four, 420. Nice. I've got 420 candies. Do I get... I could get the Epic... I can get two. I can get Epic Bog Witch Mage, Epic Shadow Man Warrior, or Epic Book Artillery. Oh, yeah. Okay. Smart, Georgia. Smart. Done. Now I only need 180 for the warrior, which I don't use warrior that much, do I? Nice. Some good skins. I like that. Equip. I do have them on random. Like, I just do random ones. Um, every book is equipped. I got a fair few skins. Which is nice. Where's the one I just got? There's the book. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Bog Witch Mage. Nice. Have you got any of the skins from this season? 
Has anyone got some skins from this season? I think it's pretty fun. I think I prefer it over the sports one. Oh yeah, Georgia, look, you've got that warrior. The epic Shadow Man warrior. Very cool. Very cool indeed. You have all the ones you buy. Nice. Oh, we're getting closer. 40 seconds. And then tomorrow night, we could easily finish the map if we're already, if we're already one ahead. Um, nice, nice. I wonder when you get out of the chest, I'll have to have a look. We go 10, no, eight. Let us see an old potty with an epic archer. I'll put in a flying rogue, nice. Got an epic rogue there as well. All right, get as many in as we can. I'll try and get that rogue in because rogues are nice and quick. Ah, oh, okay. I get you, Georgia, I get you. Go team, go. We gotta win this one, surely. Look at George's creepy little warrior go. Uh, I am quickly. I can see if. anyone is playing this actual game not just me <laughs> that's weird when that happens <laughs> with Ebbs isn't home to the chocolate three winners Mo, Dreadle and Georgia well done uh if we, we'll do a spin if you guys want to do one last spin for the night as well Exclamation mark roll. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Georgia with a 94. Mo with a 5. Potty with a 3. Come on to my potty. No, for a demo. Didn't you get a 1 before, Mo? Lois wins. <laughs> 94 is the one to beat. 94 is the one to beat. Go on once. Go on twice. Well done, Georgia. Oh! One Dixper crate. Enjoy. Which I'll have Dixper on tomorrow night. I will have it on tomorrow night. So, enjoy. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Alright, thank you everyone so much for being here tonight. I had a ball, which is why like I went a, an extra hour that I actually planned to do. I was only gonna do four hours, turn into five. See how you know it's a good stream, I did enjoy. Um let's I was I was looking for people, but you know, I don't have to look too far. And I see our very own Lord Happy Cats is still streaming, and I'm sure he'll be on for a little bit longer. Um so if you'd like to join me in the raid, let's go say hi. Could someone please do exclamation mark raid for me? Because I forgot to do it and I can't click out of this thing now. <laughs> so you can copy and paste. Big bad raid. There it is. Um, I will be back tomorrow night, same time, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time. The times are in the in the desk in the Discord in the schedule. Um, it's Happy's Gold Master celebration stream he won uh to be able to plan an eight hour stream for me uh, it's also going to be halloween so I'll, I'll dress up a little bit go play some spooky games happy as picked one of them um i've had my arm for a while bendy and the ink machine looks pretty cool um so yeah it's gonna be fun if you could join us it'll be a lot of fun it's my last stream for the month so triples you're in line you've been in here gold master <laughs> 
Um, thank you once again. Let's go say hi. Have a good night. Have a good day. Wherever you are, there's the top 10. Thank you, Mo. And I'll see you all soon. Bye. Oh, look at all the emotes. I love when it does that. It's weird. I don't know why. It's definitely interesting, Mo. It's definitely interesting. <laughs> it's going to be fun. See you all then. Bye.